Ultras live. You know who it is. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? It's another day. It's another day. You know, another week. Another game week. Another baby. three points. Let's let's hope. Three let's points. hope for that. Let's go for the clean sheet today. That's boys. what I need clean for fantasy. Sheet. That's what I need. <laughs> I got Ram still back there. Are you able to pull up the game, baby? Yeah, I got. Hold on, I'm sorry. Um, yes, I do have it. Okay. Wait, what? Aston Villa versus Arsenal. What the hell is that? That's wrong. Yeah, I got it. I got the game up. Get your ugly ass face up out of here. The fuck? I'm going through commercials. Yeah, same here. <clears throat> so let's discuss the starting lineup real quick. All right. First of all, we're go we're going off of Ramsdale, so you know Leno is uh, essentially done. We got Gabby back there, so I feel a lot safer. I'm good with that. We got Ben White, Tomiyasu, and Tierney. That's you know that's been our solid starting uh, four at the back. I feel like that's you don't mess with that. This is the way to go. I'm happy with that. Um, let's see. We got Laconga and Partey as the, uh, as the duo in the midfield. Um, interesting to see Laconga how he plays. Uh, I guess uh, Chaka still recovering, Here right? Here Saka. Saka's going to explode, boy. Woo! Damn, man. That, my, the man's a firecracker, dude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess Chaka's still battling with injury, right? <clears throat> Correct. Can you hear me? Um, Sa Shaka? Yeah, Shaka. Oh, man. That man is out for like a, a, a month and a half, probably. Oh, okay. Damn. All right. Uh, and then we got Saka, of course. You know, he's starting to perk up. I think he's about to, this is a nice time for him to, you know, to gather some, like, confidence, gather himself, overcome some of his demons from, from the summer. Um, Odegaard, who's also starting to percolate really nicely. He's starting to combine really well with the, ooh! Oh, I think you're ahead of me, Paulo. Um, uh, I think so, too. Uh, I'm at 135. Yeah, 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 I'm at 50. So, hold on a second. I'll, I'll, I'll refresh it. Don't worry about it. Um, got Odegaard there. He's starting to percolate. He's starting to combine really well with the starting lineup. I love it. Uh, Smith Rowe, who's also kind of getting into more dangerous spaces and starting to, you know, capitalize on those uh, opportunities that he's getting. And Aubameyang, who's uh, we don't really know what we're gonna get to be honest. I think Aubameyang is kind of a question mark from week to week. It's just a matter of what what Aubameyang is gonna show up. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to get the clinical Obama Yang or are we going to get the Obama Yang that doesn't give a fuck? Who knows? All right. Now we're going to get clinical today. I hope so. Baby. I hope so. It's the day. It's the day. I don't know. I hope so. I'll just. This coming week, we're also going to be introducing our career mode AUL career mode, season yes, one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stay tuned for that. Where Fabian, where Fabian, Mr. Relica, is going to be. Uh, what is it called? Maybe the uh, president. When, when the president. He's gonna be the, the the new owner. He's gonna be. Is he gonna be better than Kroenke? I'm gonna be the, in charge of all the big decisions. <laughs> you motherfuckers are gonna have to pay. You better deliver, cause I'm not. I'm not fucking giving you no contract on some promises, and on fucking potential. <laughs> I know that much. <laughs> I don't do that. You know what I say about potential? What do I say about potential, Paulo? Be excited. No, it means <laughs> what I say is potential means you ain't done shit. That's what that means. <laughs> so, I'm gonna keep an eye on you. Trouser. All right. What minute you on? Okay, I'm updated. Sorry, I haven't done that yet. All right. So you gave you gave you gave your little insight about um your little <laughs> you gave your insight on uh, the starting lineup. Mm -hmm. Yep, I sure did. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, zombie. Kind of, he's kind of been there, you know, since the preseason. Since he came on okay, to uh, mm -hmm. for the Arsenal, yeah, he's been like our main uh, center mid since you know with Partey's injury, yeah, yeah. and then now Saka's injury. He's been making some. He's, he's been getting minutes. I'll say that. Yeah, he's been getting. He's been making those bits too, mm -hmm. because I mean, he. I mean, you can even see that um, El Nani's, you know, behind him. He's young. He has. He's full of potential. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay but but we really uh, I'm, I'm really i'm really i like this starting lineup yeah i like it i, like I think it. it should be we have the team to be able to overcome brighton no disrespect but like you know even with chaka out and some other pieces out like this should be more than enough to overcome a team like brighton 
Ooh. Right, hey, I'm at minute uh, 425, by the way. Oh, yeah, we're right there, bro. Okay. You're probably like a second and a half away. Okay, all right, cool. <clears throat> nice combination, they. Not Nice combo. I liked it. Oh, shit. She's about to die. Yeah. All right. I think my shit is... Give me a second. I'll be back. Okay, go ahead. Man, I've been so excited to watch, like, the youngsters just <clears throat> learn to play amongst themselves, you know? That's kind of what I've been most interested in. Um, as much as I like Pepe, I, uh, I think the way he plays doesn't... <clears throat> it doesn't bode well for the way that the rest of the team plays, and it doesn't... It doesn't characterize itself in, like, good team play either. I think he kind of holds on to the ball a little bit too long. I think Pepe's at his best as a disruptor. As somebody right, who, like, <clears throat> Yeah, I was just talking to the people about, like, what I, the way I feel about Pepe as a starting player. Um, I think he's, a, I think he's one of, been one of our best players, honestly, in this shit show start. But I think the way he plays, Pepe's kind of at his best whenever he holds on to the ball too long and whenever he kind of makes shit happen by himself. So I think he's not conducive to 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 yeah. our best team play. Yep. So uh, that's why I'm I'm kind of in favor of dropping him to the bench for a little bit. Yeah. I, I, you know I don't think they I don't think Pepe. Well, I, you know as you see glimpses of greatness with Pepe. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. From time to time. And though, but those moments are very rare. Mm -hmm. um, especially, I, th I think it's it has probably has to be do with chemistry, bro. Yeah. Honestly, because I, uh -huh. I think he has the. He, he has the um, um, the talent uh -huh. to be a, you know one of those star players at, at Arsenal, mm -hmm. but I just think it's the people around him that just kind of don't know what he's gonna do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's know? very unpredictable as a player too. Yeah. Like it's hard to build chemistry with him. Oh shit, my camera's still off, isn't? It? Yeah, yeah, you turn that off. <clears throat> but um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it because he's obviously like such an individual talent. Um, but. But like I said, yeah, and like you said so eloquently, it's the, it's the chemistry thing that seems to be lacking. And he might not even be a player that kind of relishes on chemistry, to be honest. The fact that he's been playing so well while the rest of the team has not kind of says something to me. I think he's one of those players that can kind of, that can kind of pull a team to, uh, <clears throat> to make something happen magically out of nothing when the rest of the players are faltering. But yeah. obviously, when you want the the whole team to play well, which is the goal. I don't know. It kind of doesn't work that well. So. Yeah, you you also gotta realize that Saka has been on top on that mm -hmm. position for a while. Yeah. So it's no, it's, it's you know, it's no giver that we're not gonna, mm -hmm. gonna sit out our best attacking uh, player. Mm -hmm. You know. Saka's uh, maybe, easily at his best when he's on that right side. Easily, it's not right. even close. Easily, I I preferred him on the right hand side because mm -hmm. I mean even last year when he played on the left hand side, yeah. he was you know it was. That's when you were doubting okay. him. I was doubting him, right? I remember. And then he moved to the right side, and then I was like, ah, all over him. <laughs> I remember. I remember that shit. Yeah, man. So, uh, like I said, um, Pepe is one of those um, just weird talents that you know, either he's going to make it in the Premier League or he's just going to flourish somewhere else. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. He might not be in the right team either, you know, unfortunately. It just might not work with us. Sometimes that happens, and it's not. Yeah, I mean, look, look at Aubameyang. Yeah. That's a great example of. I think it's just uh, when as soon as um, you know, Arteta left, Arteta came back, you know, came in to Arsenal, kind of changed the mentality of how they're gonna play, and he kind of started a flunky. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like Aubameyang would be thriving in another team, at the, but you know, it's just his mentality and a bunch of other stuff, tactically. Uh, but yeah, it's a bunch of players that that happens to. It's no, it's no real indictment on the player. Sometimes shit just doesn't work. It is what it is. Mm. But uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I think we have our best players on the pitch right now. I think we have our captain, in my opinion, which is Gabby at the back. I think we have a very solid uh, midfielder in in Tomas, and I think we got the the mer mercurial talent in Saka. So. Just as long as Aubameyang shows up in any capacity, just to fucking tap the ball into the back of the net, this should be, you know, we we should be okay with this in this in this match. There you go. Come on, come on. There you go. Come on, Saka. Ah, nice, good pass. That was a great pass. It is a good pass. Yeah, what a way to open it. Oh, man, I love the way those three play. I just love it. Come on, Aubameyang. Oh, shit. Cross it in. Aubameyang. 
Damn it. Oh, got, come on, man. Got caught between two minds. I was like me right now playing FIFA. Yeah. I know. That's <laughs> See, that's the... Uh, sometimes you feel like a bummer yang, like... It's like a, a mentality thing with him. I just feel like in the past he wouldn't... He would have just shot it. Which, I mean, I don't think he should have done it, but at least he would have made a decision. Like, this time he didn't know what to do. He was like, should I cross it? Should I go for goal? It's just like kind of something... It's like a... Man, it's fucking raining, too. Yeah. So that ball's gonna be fucking moving quick. Yeah, it's gonna be slipper. Quick, for sure. Yeah, that that last Obama Young moment's kind of been like a... Like an See amalgamation, like amalgamation of like all the moments of like Obama Yang kind of second guessing himself and not having a lot of the confidence that we saw early on when he first moved to to us. Just all of that. There you go, Gabby. Put his ass on the fucking ground. Fucking aggression, bro. It wasn't even a foul. It was fucking clean. It was. Son. That would have been a soft ass clean. foul. Oh my God, Ben White. The fuck are you oh. doing? Pause it for one second, baby. Okay, okay, gotcha. Boom. Okay, how about now? I'm at 10.43. Okay. We're right there? Yeah, we're... Yeah. I can pause it again. <laughs> Ramsdale has it. Yeah. Ramsdale's just been such a surprise. I'm glad that he, you know, he's able to give that challenge to Leno. Kind of humble Leno. Man, Leno's gone. It ain't even a challenge anymore. Leno's out of here. Come on. Hey. That was a soft foul, in my opinion. Yeah, he's gonna be the. He's probably gonna be leaving. In yeah, he's gone. What do you think? He's gone for sure. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. He's a starting keeper, no, and he's not starting. Like, Onana's coming in. I don't know who's coming in, but he's gone. He's gonna. Be, he's gonna be free. In general. Yeah. That would be the wise. That would be the wise decision. Let go, Leno, get some money, and then bring in somebody for for free or very cheap. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we're gonna suck, which we. You know, we're, uh, I think we're gonna, I think we'll probably end around tenth, maybe, something like that. Ninth, tenth. That's just kind of my prediction. We'll probably end up around there again. Um, I might as well just like build up our our core players. You know. There you go, our, our young core players. Hustle. There you go. Conga. Oh, Tierney's not fucking starting. No, he's he's playing. Just, Tierney's playing. Oh, he's playing. Oh my god. I got, I got him, I got him confused. That's why. Yeah, I, feel, I, feel. <laughs> I need to see more from Ben White. Come on, let's see that passing out the back. I already said when we first got him, I was, you know, sometimes he gave me Mustafi vibes with some of the mistakes, some of the absent-mindedness. I'm just saying, I'm being honest. I'm not trying to say that he is that, but you know, you get that vibe sometimes with some of his like absent-minded mistakes. There you go. Smith Rowe. Man, Smith Rowe has like, he's got, oh, Jesus Christ. Tomas. Was that Tomas? Tomas is good for a fucking turnover, too, for giving the ball away. Cheaply. We gotta cut that shit out of our fucking team. There you go. Gabby, man! Look at that fucking control. Yeah. Such a fucking beast. Man. God, probably my best, be our best that. signing in, in in a very long time, in my opinion. Straight up. Gabby. Yeah. I, I feel the love for him. No, yeah, for sure. It didn't take long to realize it either. Like even in the middle of last season, I was like, yeah, this guy is the. the first game, he's bro. the guy. The first fucking game. For me. Yeah, he scored on the first game, didn't he? Which doesn't really. I need to see from see from uh from defenders. I need to see a little bit more. But it was early on that, like, you couldn't even deny it. I was like, this guy's special. Yeah. Pass that shit back, man, White. Oh, whatever. He's dominant. Go back. Yeah. Like I said, I said the shit on Twitter. He's our, obviously, he's no Van Dyke, but he's our version of that. Because without him, our fucking defense is ass. Look at that win of Brian, bro. Just... Yeah. Come on, close him down. It's blowing. Tomiyasu, you got to close that motherfucker down there. Oh, oh Jesus okay, Christ! Ooh. Oh. Ooh, ooh, that was scary. That was a nice play from Brighton, though. I can't even lie to you. That was beautiful interplay. That's Tomoyasu, I think. I think he needs, he needs to close him down faster. Good clearance from Tierney. 
shit, that could have gone wrong a lot of ways. I think last year, I think last year he got um, he almost got injured, just uh, similar to what uh, what just happened. He hit the. Post. Oh yeah, I think I remember that. Yep. I think we, he got he was out for like a couple couple weeks. That's you. There you go. Ah, strong nice clearance. Nice. Strong clearance. Close that motherfucker down. <laughs> Nicely hey, done. Bro. Let's go. That's exactly what you gotta do in that position, bro. Let's go. Strong clearance. And hustle back. Yeah, I've seen I've seen some strong plays from the from the three from the three midfielders from our three creative players from Smith Rowe, Saka, and Odegaard. It's good. It's good to see. That's what I've been wanting to see for a while. We ain't seen this shit since the season started. It was so like disappointing. Those first two or three games. Oh, perfect! What a gift! Oh. What a gift! What is that? Tierney. Oh, oh Tierney. Uh, he rushes it sometimes. That's you. That's all you, Tierney. You got to rush for that. That's all you. you. You better go. make up for that mistake, bro. There you go. Oh. Tierney, you shake that shit off, Tierney. Come on. Yeah, come on. Let's concentrate, man. Fuck. I hate seeing mental mistakes like that. It really pisses me off. Stupid mistakes. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like how you, it's kind of like, you know, you're working at a desk and you're kind of like, you start daydreaming or some shit. Or you start thinking about something else you shouldn't be thinking about. It's like that shit. Come on. Focus on the moment. Let's get some perspective. Let's chill out. Build up play. Damn, there's a fucking mess out there too. That's probably fucking up some of the passes. Man, if I was like a left back or a, or a right back in this situation and it was raining like this, like, I'm not... I'm not trying to be technical. I'm, I'm letting the technical players do the technical shit. There you go. Oh, that control from fucking Obama Yang. What the fuck is up with that first touch? Man, his first touch has been bricks today. He's got bricks for feet today. I don't know what the fuck is going on. And I guess Obama Yang's always been like that. He's not the most technical player. But, like, come on. It's just been bad. You got lucky there, Tierney. Okay. Oh, fuck. I know, right? Whatever. It didn't look pretty, but at least we got it. <laughs> Come on, Gabby. Let's build up some fucking play. Tossing the ball out like that is just so silly. Wasting possession. Yo, how you doing in fantasy? I've had a decent week. I'm I'm going for the I'm going for the king today, y'all. I'm going for Guillermo. He's number one right now. I'm going for the king's head. Nah, nah, nah. Um, it's okay. Hopefully, it's good enough to be Kennedy. It's not oh, expensive. come on. You got fucking cupcakes today. You got a <laughs> cupcake matchup. Uh, I'm playing against the, the leader at the moment, and you know what they say. When you go for the king, you better, you better not miss. Are you missing? Ronaldo. I'm missing Ronaldo, Ronaldo I know. Is. And Lukaku already played. He got me two fucking points. He didn't do shit. I didn't watch the game. I should have watched it, but... Nah, but Aspilicueta I, I, I showed up, though. He got two assists. That's crazy. Damn. Yeah, I know. Fucking James, dude. So, so, fucking, so fucking reliable. There you go. Go, go on, Sambi. Slow down, slow down, Damn, slow Sambi, down. that was not the pass. That's, it, slow down, buddy. that's inexperience right there. That's not an experience. You gotta slow down, the run back. Or you fucking pass it through the lines through to Saka, who's making a crazy run, and he's faster than probably half the fucking players on the league. Tierney looks heavy, dude. Why does he look so heavy? Oh, I think he might be right. Let me keep an eye on him, actually. He's, but you know, he's been dealing with those fucking injuries for a while. But I don't know. Could that be it? Muffins, bro. <laughs> I don't know if that's it. It could be. I know. I know. Let me keep an eye no, on. No, no, no. It's definitely nice. It's, it's definitely the injuries. Probably. Yeah, he does look kind of tired. I'm not even gonna lie to you. All these fucking games, stupid ass fucking useless games, piss me off. What useless games? We're not. We're not in none of those. I know. Games. No, we're in the fucking Caribou <laughs> Cup and. 
Yeah, but I mean, we have uh, what's his name? Uh, the FA Cup. Get out of here. Play Don't that. fucking matter. <laughs> Thank God we're not in that other shit. I think he's just in bad form. That's all it is. Man, I got me some Greek food. I can't. I can't wait for us to score and get to that fucking first half. That 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 half. God. I'm like about that fucking. Why is he guarding? Grub up. <laughs> I know, like, right? What the fuck is that about? He's like five inches, bro. <laughs> Come on now. <sighs> Thank God that was a terrible delivery. Who's coming out to close? Oh shit! Oh shit! Goal. Oh, shit. Hey. That should be a oh. foul. That should be a foul. That should be a foul. Ramsdale. Oh god, I hope he's okay. It looked like he took a oh. knee to the face. Gotta see that replay, bro. I wanna see if Ramsdale fucking. That's. That Tomiyasu has got to sprint out there and fucking close that man down. Look at that shit. Gabby should not be yeah. out there. Oof. That wasn't Gabby. No, that was Gabby that was trying to close him down, number four. Ben White was. Oh, I'm sorry. That was Ben White. My bad. Oh. Okay, so he's been... Is he out? Is Bram still good? I think he's fine. I hope he didn't get a concussion. Oh, fuck a drop, bro. Yeah, he did, like... I think he got a knee, or a thigh, at least. Shit, that could have been a goal. We got lucky there. Now let's just hope. Let's just hope Ramsell is good mentally. He's ready to go. That shit did not look good mentally. <laughs> All right, I don't even think they did a concussion protocol. You got to be careful with that kind of shit. Like, you could be you'd be surprised at the kind of like. Head injuries that would give you a concussion. They don't even have to be that severe. I'm gonna keep an eye on him just in case he starts fucking up. I know what it is. There you go, Tomoyasu. Come on, Saka, bring the ball down. Come on. <sighs> Tomoyasu reminds me of uh, Monreal. Well, that's just a Nacho. Touch. Yeah, I could see that. I can kind of see Green that. Nacho was solid it's for kinda, us. He's kind of on, you know, on. He sometimes can be really balanced, and sometimes he can, you know, he's on balance. Yeah, he's not like uh, outstanding, like physically, as in like he's super fast, but he just picks his spots correctly. Yeah, yeah I can see that. That's a good comparison. That's a good comp, Papao. There you go. I'm gonna keep an eye on him. <clears throat> he's another one that I have to keep an eye on. Oh. Oh. That's you, that's you, that's you. There you go. Come on, you got to control that ball better, man. You can't just be clearing it like that. That's you, that's you, that's you. He's just knocking that fucking shit around. There you go. There you go, Saka. There you go, Saka. Nice. Go on. Chucha tu madre. Oh. oh. Get the shit. Oh. 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 Fuck, fuck off. God. Ah, man. If Saka would have just gotten there a little bit quicker. Man, it's storming down there. Look at Saka's pace. I told you he's at least faster than half the league. Can't fuck with that man. He's young too, so you know he's got energy. Oh, hit the post? Hit the post. Dang. Fuck out of here. Who's got a bummy egg on the on the fantasy thing? Tyler. Okay, I'm good then. <laughs> I ain't playing. I tried to. I tried to get up from Tyler. He ain't available. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's worth it for all those fucking donuts that he gave people early on in the season those zeros who the fuck was that pass to where's that tierney? tierney's been i don't know yeah tierney's uh start to this season has not been as solid as last season it's just i mean i'm just being honest he was probably our second best player last season and now he's i don't know not not even top five, not top ten, maybe not even top ten. He's underperforming, but yeah. I still think he has time to um, reinvent his skills, especially I think I after he, he should be fine in the next game. 
or this game. You know what? I, th I, I think know. the I think the the opposition kind of caught up to him. He's very one dimensional. You know what I mean? Mm. So I think a lot of players kind of know what he's gonna do already before he does it. He needs to add a couple of moves to his arsenal. He needs to like you. I see what you did there. Like you said, he needs to reinvent the way he plays a little bit. He yeah. needs to change it up. So we after this game we go into um, a, what's it called the international break. Okay. Okay. I don't mind international breaks anymore. Whenever we used to be in the thick of shit, like around this time when we had we were like either like top four or like we were in the Champions League. Shit, that would piss me off. International break would suck. But nowadays I it's it's good. It's a good break. <laughs> it's a good break, right? Mm -hmm. Damn. Get it out. They're finding spots, man. They're finding holes through our defense. We need to take back control, man. Oh, the London plays for Brighton nowadays? Interesting. And look at what they're doing to Partey. I'm trying to move that big rock around. There you go, Gabby! Close that man down! Jeez, Partey, you got to do better than that, man. There you go, ESR. Oh, wait, that was Odegaard. Man, I get those motherfuckers confused all the time. There you go, Tomiyasu. That's you. All you. Okay, Saka. You go close that man down. Oh, that was Partey. Okay, that's not bad. Get a foul. Draw a foul. Shit! Shit. Oh, shit, man. We're giving too much the ball yeah. away. There's too much of that, uh, like, trying to, you know, get to the... Um the other side of the field too quick mm -hmm. which is not letting us control the, the game yeah we're struggling to get the ball out of our whenever like a situation like that arises and we get control back like we, we can't get it out yeah. i think it's because like we're supposed to, like we're supposed to be arsenal bro like we, sh we shouldn't be like trying to find the counter attack every single time i think it's like you I said dude i think they're trying to rush rush the the, the playing out the back I think they're really trying to rush that shit. Damn, up a man. He's like hanging onto his back. Yeah, what's what what are the possession stats? Let me look at that. I don't think they've been good. Yeah. Brighton have more possession than us at the moment. Come on, you gotta establish control. You know, as much as we demonize Chaka, a player like him is important. Jesus Christ, what a goal. Oh Holy my god. Holy shit. They almost scored a fucking perfect goal. Holy shit. That motherfucker said, fuck me. <laughs> that was a beautiful play. Maybe Lalana should have just gone for goal there. I don't know. Oh, like I said, maybe, you know, Chuck is probably not the quality that we deserve, but a player like him is important in order to be able to recycle possession and keep it. And there you go, Bummy. Yeah, it's a fucking foul. Are you serious? Ah, oh, Tierney, man. That was Tierney, wasn't it? <gasps> oh, shit. What a fucking ball. What a pass. What a cross. Not looking good. Not looking good. Man, look at that fucking cross. It's amazing. Fucking found the crack, bro. Damn. Here. Yep. The right that was side. the perfect cross. If you had a better scorer there, that's, that's a goal. Dude, what the fuck is going on here? We're just essentially relying on Saka to dribble through a couple players and make a pass that's going to break the lines. That's not good enough. Where the fuck is our tactic? It's tough, man. He's going for he's going for that um counterattack this first half. What this is? He's wanting to um he's letting a, a you know 
to I'll be in a fucking um, attack like that. To be honest, that probably suits our team the the most, I guess. You know, like I don't I don't think our team is oh Tomayasu for fuck's sake. Oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Get back, get back, get back, get back. That's you, that's you. You got to tackle. Good tackle, Ben White. Get it out of there, Gabby. Fuck off, Tomayasu. What is that? Come on, you motherfuckers. Concentrate. Tommy, you got to do better than that, boy. What is that? Can't be doing that type of bullshit. It's fucking wet, obviously. Fucking wet. Good tackle from Ben White. Playing around too much. Here we go with those fucking mental mistakes. Damn, my shit asked me to... What the England, hell is this? Tommy. Welcome to England. Did, did we get scored on yet? I had to sign in real quick. I don't know why I wasn't what? signed in already. Shit! Did they score? Oh, my God. It was, it was close. Oh, my God. I saw that. Close these players down, man. Close these players down. Oh, Jesus. That was close. Hey, I'm a 30-42. Where are you at? 30, 34. 30, 34? Okay. Let me know when you're at 30, 47. 47? Yeah, 30, 47. Okay. 30, 47. Okay. Cool. Yeah, they're getting like all the rebounds. They're getting all the... What's going on here? Come on. What's up with all this indecision? I hate that shit. There's nothing that pisses me off more than indecisive bullshit. Make up your mind where you're going to pass quickly and get the ball moving. Tomiyasu, why the fuck do you look so scared? Come on, chill out. Because he fucked up, dude. That's why. You know what he, he did. Bro. Everyone in this team looks scared right now. Looks skittish. You do, don't they? I, I get the same fucking feeling because I'm a little bit scared too, myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Everybody cool frightened the fuck out. Chill out. Brighton. I'm against Brighton. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you and your fucking dad <laughs> jokes. I'm frightened against Brighton. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. That's a highlight. <laughs> That's a highlight. <laughs> You're your fucking dad jokes. Oh, you made me snort. <laughs> there you go. Come on. Come on. There you go. Put that little pressure on. I'm about to tweet that shit too. <laughs> oh, man. It's so stupid. Oh, do you know what? For some reason, I got deleted off. I got taken off of the, the, the Twitter for our... For Arsenal Ultras. Oh. I don't know what happened. I got we'll I gotta add it. Up. Add new account. Here we go. Ooh, nice. Okay. I don't even care. Oh. Yo, we're struggling. This is so bad. What the fuck is going on? You know what? I think we play to the opposition sometimes. Like, we stoop down to their level. No disrespect, as previously said, but like... Oh, come on, what the fuck is going on? Just show up a little bit. Oh my god! Uh oh. That's you, Tomas. Why are you leaving such a gaping hole in the fucking defense? Damn, man! Get closer to them, dude. Partey needs to get a little bit more closer to you. You see how open he yeah, is? Yeah, no, he's leaving big gaps in the look, midfield. Look, 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 right there. Oh, no, dude. You got to be a little bit. You got to got a little bit quicker, man. On your feet. He's leaving big gaps in that defense. <laughs> this shit is hilarious. Control it. Control it. God. Man, I, you can't ask, motherfucker. You couldn't ask a bumming to control a threesome and a fucking brothel right now. He can't control shit. What are you doing? 
that touch. Oh my god, that's a great fucking. Oh, look at that. That's a touch right there. You see that shit? Hey. That's how you fucking control a ball. How is a fucking 19 year old showing you up? That touch is exquisite, bro. Oh, nice. Hey, what minute are you on? You're in the right minute. 34, oh, you're too, you're too behind. Oh, okay, wait, wait. 34, what? 34, 44. Okay, now nah, you're right there. Okay. I'm good, yeah, right? Yeah, you're good. All right, come on. This is you, Odegaard. <laughs> come on. Shit, I got a feeling. I got a feeling. Pull, pull a rabbit out the hat. Come on, boys. Pull the rabbit out the hat. I got spoiled already. Nothing happens. Don't worry. <laughs> I was on Twitter and somebody said, waste of a free kick. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> Why is Tomas taking that? Hey, Jesus, Thomas. Come on, bro. That's not you. Come on, bro. How many times you got to fucking uh, sky balls into the... Baby, I'm telling you, bro. This When this man scores that type of goal, bro, he gonna, he's going to go he's crazy. Gonna lose his mind. He's going to go fucking nuts, He's going to keep doing it, too, after that. He's been wanting to do that since, uh, since last year. He's been skying <laughs> balls. For a year already, and he doesn't get it. It's not. It's just not. But whenever this man scores something like that, this man's gonna go crazy. And send them to the fucking parking lot next door. <laughs> Somebody liked our "I'm frightened against Brighton" thing. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. It was a Brighton player, or a Brighton uh, fan. Oh, that's golden. Sorry about that. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come on now. Stop fucking about. I keep slamming my shit. Here you go. Keep going. Keep at it. Keep at it, Tommy. Come on. Oh my god, Tomiyasu, please. Yasu. I feel like I feel like Tomas should be helping him there. Was that just me? Why isn't he getting that? destroyed dude he got destroyed no to I'm, I'm talking is. about tomas bro tomas should be getting there too i feel like if tomas wanted to he, he could have fucking cleaned that shit up easily i mean i know getting out he doesn't want to get out caught out of position and all that but like i just feel like he could have gotten it we're gonna concede a goal real soon oh jesus christ we're gonna concede a goal real fucking soon i just feel it i got that feeling it's filling off, Fabian. I'm sorry. I don't want that feeling. I don't know what you want me to do. I'm being honest. Oh, my God. That was so close. I don't think Ramsdale would... I don't think Ramsdale saw that shit. Nah. Oh, no. He did, he did, he did see it. He, he didn't see shit. That crazy. shit was going to go right in there. <laughs> he ain't see shit. <laughs> that man's still oh, struggling with a concussion. We can't put two passes together right now. You know what they should do, man, Fabian? What's up? They should um. They should bring Obama a little bit down. And let and let uh, Odegaard be the front man for a little bit. And then so false nine. So Obama can run and Obama can run behind the players. And let uh, Odegaard control the ball up there because that's where we're fucking yeah, up. Yeah, that's true. But Odeg I don't know because Odegaard. I don't know if Odegaard has the body to be like. You know, uh, you know, going up there for those fucking one. Uh, it, it don't matter. It don't matter. He just needs. He just needs some control up front because we don't have that right now. Why the fuck can Obama ain't control a simple goddamn pass? What the fuck is up with that? Let's ask that fucking question. Well, I can't answer that <laughs> fucking question. <laughs> I know it's not like I know you've never been known as that kind of striker or that kind of player, but like, we're not talking about like. We're not talking hey, about Burkham type of control right now. We're just talking about simple fucking passes that are bouncing fucking 10 feet away from you. Zombie. Zombie. I need to say that in, in meters. That are bouncing fucking Zombie. 5 meters away from you. Oh, shit. Hey, come on, Zombie. Come on. You got to get that ball up out of there. Oh, Jesus. Zombie, you're out of position, Zombie. Man, they're trying to walk the ball into the fucking back of the net, too. They're fucking toying with us. This is crazy. Now, I'm just way out of position. Look at that. Look at that. You got to clear that shit. 
It shouldn't take you that long to clear look, it. And the worst part is he's like completely low. Look at that. He he leaves a humongous yeah. gap. A party should have fucking come in a little bit. Oh, a lot of inexperience out there right now. A lot of inexperience right there. Partey looks so far. We're still not. We're not. Whatever tactic we have going on about playing the ball out is not working at all. You got to change that shit up right now, Arteta. God, man. Fucking ESR is the only one that's showing up to play today. There you go. What? Are you? Call me. You had Odegaard. Bro. There you go. Come on, you Saka. Come on, Saka. Come on, Saka. Man. ESR is the only motherfucker that showed up to play today. That's you. Oh, party Why? Party's well, going to go crazy, bro. This is his day. This is his day. Man, he, he, that was the perfect time. <laughs> that was the one time that you needed to do it. No, you got to get that shit more on target, bro. You got all the time in the world. What the fuck is that? Nah, that's not good enough, man. Oh, Jesus, somebody needs to fucking coach Tomas as far as shooting. Mikel, you need to start having one-on-one -on -one sessions with this man. Because even your ass could shoot better than he could. You know, Mikel used to, he would score a couple of uh, world-class fucking 30 yards out goals every once in a while. There you go, Gabby. There you go. There you go. That's how you fucking defend. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Oh, my God. Ben White, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. What happened? Uh, you started too, too quickly, I think. You need to redo that. Oh man. <laughs> Look at that rap. <laughs> Holy shit. That's motherfucking amazing, isn't it? Let me move this down a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, I gotta identify which player is causing the most problems for us right now. Lalana is getting whatever the fuck he wants. That's a fact. I think he's really being a problem for us. He's dictating play everywhere. Like, he's all the way up there right now, number 14. He's been a real fucking problem. Um, oh, yeah, number 14? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lalana, yep. That, he's been a fucking... No, issue. who's the guy with the ponytail? I forgot. Oh, that's the guy on the left, right? With the long curly yeah, he's hair? he's just been like... He's just being like a nightmare for us. Uh, I think it's Cucurella, maybe. I don't know. I need to see him. I need to see who you're talking about. Malpai, is, he's also been holding up the ball really well. I think people are playing around him, which is the way that you should play when you're fucking. Uh, uh, never mind. When you really want to break down a team, not counterattacking, you need a fucking player that can hold up the ball, a striker that can hold up the ball. That's just fucking basics. Okay? You can't just have a striker that just... You can't play the way that Arsenal play and just have a, a poacher up there. That's just not the way this shit works. God damn it! Oh, wow, man, bro. See, you see what I mean, though? Like, if you had Odegaard there, there would have been control there, you know? Just don't pass him the ball then anymore. Well, that's what I'm saying. But, like, if you, if you had... If you... Take away the ball control from Obama and just focus on him just running today... I think we'll be ahead. Yeah, I agree. That's what he's always not been best there at. Go. There you go. There you go. Look at Saka, bro. Bro. There you go, man. There you go. The youngsters come are on, the only on. motherfuckers that showed up to play. Come, come on, come on, Sambi. Make Sambi. that pass quicker. Yeah. Chatu madre. There you go, Smith Rowe. Oh, there you go. Good pass there, Tomas. Don't shoot that shit, please. That's you. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, now we're playing. Oh, now we play! Now we play! Damn it, we got too cute. Fuck. It's... Uh-oh, somebody's down. Somebody's down. No, Who's no, down? No, 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 we good, we good, we good. Man, it's a real fine line between overplaying and, you know, just playing. There you go, ESR. Come on. Put a good cross in. That's you, Obama Yang! Oh, Alba. He didn't, he didn't see that. He didn't see it, Fabian. He didn't, he didn't see it. He didn't think that the defender would miss it. Fuck. Really fucked up. Sometimes a striker takes a chance on that. That's when, like, taking a risk comes into play. Because you're like, I'm going to risk it. 
You know what they say? No, no risk and no biscuit. That's all we say in the South. <laughs> Y'all don't have biscuits in fucking <laughs> in Europe. I'm just fucking with you. Man, ESR has shown up to play today. Ah, shit. It's so congested. Oh. And they're really good defensively, this team. Brighton. I don't know what the record is, but they, they play really well as a unit. They're like attack as a unit, they defend as a unit. We also take too long building up play. We either take too long or we rush it. It's weird. No, but we're getting more involved in yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah, we're rising. I, I, I like that. Yeah. I like that too. Okay, I'm not going to be so negative. All right. <laughs> I'll be positive. I'll be positive. Put in a good one, bro. No, but you're, you're you're right though. I mean, we are struggling. We struggle for like the last twenty minutes to build out play. You know, quick enough to get to the uh, to goal. Look, you're right on that. Look at this shit. But we're getting there. Look though. at this shit, bro. Ah, uh, uh, Bomiya needs to be oh, getting that. On, he needs to be getting man. that. Yeah. He does. I know. I know really the defender does. missed it and it fucked you up. But come on, bro. Take a gamble. Oh. He know he fucked up, bro. Shit, that's what you're oh, supposed to do. That instinct, bro. That instinct is not there anymore, baby. I'm telling you, man. This shit is oh. mental. You're not going to tell me otherwise. There you go, Tomayas. Oh! Get that shit up out of here, Ben White. I already seen these motherfuckers sliding all over the damn place. Let me see what the fuck Twitter's got to say about this shit. There you go. Tell me, I said, yes, go back. Bro. <laughs> Before you get a yellow. Mom, bro! What can you pass this shit? Halftime. That's the motherfucker that's been killing us, right? Yep, that's him. Yeah, I think that's, um. Uh... I think that's cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my food. Where are you going, buddy? I'm gonna take food, man. I got the food out here waiting for me. I want to get Greek food. <laughs> what, are, what are you eating? Greek foods. Greek food. Greek. Greek. Oh, Greek food. Okay. Some shawarma. Yeah, some shawarma. Yeah. Nah, I got yeah, some. Yeah, I got yeah. some kebabs. Making me hungry, dude. I haven't eaten. I'm starving. All right, I'm gonna go get my shit. Don't, don't. But um, let, let me see what what they're saying. What's going on in the in the Twitter world? In the Twitter world. Good character building. We go again second half. Yeah, no. Uh, towards the end, we look really bright. Uh, my curls are on match. Relax. <laughs> that was from uh, Arson's son. Um, Guru has told me he's been in Brazil that he could be half played. Alright, I'm back. Hey. Alright, what we gotta say about this fucking half, Paulo? It's not been good. There's it's not been, been good, some bro. solid, like, interplay, but overall, no. I can't say it's been good. No, no. Is, uh, we can't let. Fuck that shit, bro. We can't be Boldy Beggars Bryant, bro. Come on. Talk to me. I'm not about that um, saying that, you know, respect Brian type of wish. You know, we have to go there and just be disrespectful, bro. Get all over their fucking faces. These guys mocked us throughout the week, bro. We paid fucking showed signs that we were fucking crying. We were crying. I mean, nah, yeah, we're showing them too respect, if, too much respect, if anything. We should be there just fucking getting in their fucking faces. Too much you know fucking I mean? respect. Mm-hmm. Know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, like I said, Alba, his first touch is not there today. His his killer instinct is not there. Um, order guard, I need I need him to kind of be that front guy, so he can distribute a little bit more. Right? I think that's that's where we're struggling. We're playing too much also with uh w you know with Saka side. Tommy Yasu is kind of struggling in defense. Um, he did. He did seem come to life a little bit towards the towards the end, maybe like the last five or ten minutes of the game. But other than that, I think you know he struggled back there. Tierney, bro. Uh, I saw. I've only saw him see seen him do one good thing today, which was that cross that he did towards the end. It was like the last ten minutes. He did. 
really nice cross, right? But, you know, at the end of the day, it didn't go anywhere. Um, Partey. Ah, Partey, Partey. He's taking stupid shots. They're not stupid. He's trying. They're you know, stupid shots for him. You know, this is not clinic. He just doesn't get on target. Now, the second shot he did take was, you know, was a solid shot. He should have done better with that shit too, Paolo. But in the free kick, though. I mean, okay, I, I, I get it, though. But he had a good shot when he, he when he just shot it just a couple minutes ago. And then he had that shot in the free kick. Oh, this shot warm is nasty. The free kick, that, I'm completely against that. That was a horrible free kick, dude. He fucking boomed that shit, dude. Man was playing um, American football. But, but uh, <clears throat> Aubameyang needs to step up up there. Like I said, his his touch, his touch, his touch is just horrendous right now. Which I think he should be playing like, um, running, trying to run behind the the defender on the back. And Odegaard needs to come in and take control of that as well as Smith Rowe. Not just Odegaard because he's not just the only creative attacking midfielder right now. Smith Rowe has showed up to play. He needs to like. He did. We need to put him in a in a more more of a position of like responsibility for this game because he's he looks like the only one that showed up to play. No, Saka did as well. Man. I know, I but Smith throws like you know Smith throws. Saka's doing what Saka does, but Smith throw looks like he could. You know, like he, he he's he's taking he's dangerous. yeah he's taking control of like dangerous balls. He's controlling really difficult uh, moves. Mm. Yeah. He's just... Yo, I don't know, bro, but I got a tequila bottle, bro. Some water. Some holy water. And if we score, I'm going to take a shot. Let's go! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, man, we, we really need to step up the second half, bro. Arteta needs to go in there and be like, boys, y'all fucking up. Bob and Yang, if you don't fucking get a good touch, bro, <laughs> in your first touch, man, you out. We're putting in some Laka. Laka would be good in this game. Bob and Yang is really letting us down. No, he's been late. When he plays like this, he really lets us down. Because every once in a while, Bob will have a game where he disappears. He just doesn't show up. But this game, he has not disappeared. He's just been involved in all the wrong shit. Every time he gets involved, he loses the fucking ball. Yo, I, all I gotta say is that we gotta score this um, um, first. We gotta score first. Because if we don't score first, what Brian is gonna do is just gonna go in deep. Yeah. And as, as we can see, if we they, can't break if their they down. just sit back, bro, they're gonna become a wall back there. Mm-hmm. Because that's probably, I, I'm not sure on the, on, the, on the stats and where they are at in the Premier League, but man, I, I got a feeling that they can become just a complete wall back there, man. Gonna do shit. It's gonna gain. This game is gonna end up one 0 So we gotta score first. We gotta go out there, score, and that shit gets open, bro. Because Brian's gonna want to score at home. That's that, that's all it is, bro. We just gotta fucking penetrate this today, bro. So let me see where we're at. Who else is playing right now, Fabian? You know. Let's see. Oh, where'd the last game be? Did you figure it out? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're the only team that's playing right now. Oh, so we're the late night. Yeah, basically. Dun, 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 dun. So, Sambi, um, he's had a couple errors um, in the back. I mean, he's young, though. And then going forward... He said a couple of errors. Um, still, we look a lot better than uh, than we would would be with Shaka. And I know people are gonna dispute that completely. You tripping? We look a lot better with Shaka. I am not tripping, bro. We look a lot better without Shaka. Though the game is flowing, you know. No way. It's raining. It's, the game is flowing. Um, maybe we won't look that good when they when Brian is on the um, the offense, but that's because uh, you know you know it's just not not the midfield is failing us, but the the wing players are failing. Us. I don't I don't like Tierney and uh, Tom Lawson. That was my boy. There we go. Get those points, Everton. Oh, 
You got Townsend? No, no, no. I don't have Townsend. I have uh, what's the name of the guy who assisted him? Fuck, I forgot. Um, so it's, all right. It's like uh, I need to look at it. But um, Nicole? no, huh? Corey? No. Don't make me look at this shit right now. Let me look at it on my phone, which I don't know where it is. But no, I was gonna say like. No, I'm not saying that, like, obviously, I've been, you know, I'm, I think Chaka should move on. It'll be the best for both parties. But a player like Chaka is needed right now. So I'm not with you saying that we, we're looking better without him right now. I think we are, bro. Get out of here. I we think can't control we, anything. Think, They're running through I us. Think whatever, I think whatever good decision he would have had that would have been the like, reason that you would have played him this today, completely downsized the reason that we he would have fucked up defensively so much in the back it's rainy bro the speed that Brian is showing is way above him bro we have Sabi that's way faster than Shaka I mean, he can't keep up with his team is way faster than Shaka I mean no I'm not I'm not disputing that because if Shaka makes a mistake in the rain like this it's done I know but that's what I'm saying like I think we are playing better bro we have we have oh, no. less fuck ups in the midfield but we're having that fuck ups through the wing which has caused Sambi and Partey to come out of position to cover those uh, those places. <laughs> but I think you know midfield wise, like you know, I guess um, you know center defensive or already center, center defensive man that I include Partey and uh, Sambi in there. You know, easily, bro. Easily, we're playing better than Shock with, without Shock. I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like we, we're controlling the tempo ra right now. We're not controlling possession. I feel like obviously the mistakes are not just the midfield, but I think it's I think it's adding to it. I don't think Sambi's done a whole lot. This is what pisses me off about like I don't know why our our fans keep like I like Sambi, but I'm not gonna say he's had a great game. He's just been there. He hasn't contributed in any positive way, in my opinion. I think yeah. Well, I think he he kind of has, bro. He get out of here. Fabian, you're Call him out, CBJ. The... You're not looking at it, bro. You're not looking at it. I am you... looking at the damn thing. He ain't doing shit. <laughs> We're in different games, bro. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. We are back, boys. We are. I'm gonna mute myself real quick while I finish this fucking kebab. Yeah, Our work, the respect we are showing, frightening. It's frightening. <laughs> Look at baby <laughs> smile. <laughs> To control this game. Right. Boom. Okay. Gain the respect. Aubameyang needs to really step up. Get some of this here rice. Mmm. 
Man, you know I'm Hispanic for real. I got me some Greek food and I got a side of rice. Because all they had was fucking salads. Alright, let me make sure that Hey, I yo, how was that Hispanic right? place that you went to? The one with the burgers? Yeah, dude, it's, it's good, man. I, um... Yo, that's what's up, bro. Shout out to them, bro. We're bringing that Ecuadorian cuisine. Or at least fast food. Hey, let's give him a shout out. What's the name? What's the name? Oh, fuck me, dude. <laughs> I think it was called Dose. Dose? Dose. Dose, my guy. Dose. Let me see. I got you. Hold on. Man, that shit is Dose, goddammit. <laughs> Doses. Yeah, Dose's mobile cuisine. Doses. Or Doses. Whatever the fuck you want to. Doses. Yeah, it's Doses, bro. It's Doses. Doses or Doses. Depending on where Doses you're from. <laughs> But no, they got some really good Ecuadorian food. You can get uh, get some good burgers. It's like American influenced Ecuadorian food <laughs> in America. That's what happens. That's what happens though. Yep. Because uh, a lot of people that come uh, to uh, to America and they live in New York and they take whatever uh, restaurant they work in and they take it back to Ecuador. Yep. <laughs> Open up their own shit. Yep. Like, they, have a, they have a place called New York Pizza over there. Yeah, I know. So, like, it's cool because, like, in uh, even in Ecuador, like, if you go get, like, Chinese food, like, if you get, like, a chicken fried rice in Ecuador, that's just going to be a, a, a good chicken fried rice, but it's going to have, like, a plantain in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's just going to have some sort of flavor of Ecuador. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like KFC, bro. KFC is like a yep. a very well known fucking fast food restaurant, and you'll find uh, like uh, what is it rice? With some plant, some of- uh, you you get some lentils. <laughs> lentils, there you go. <laughs> oh, that shit is so good. Yep, this is true. Now, shout out to those boys or girls. I don't know who who owns the restaurant, the food, the food truck. Alright, so I can have it started. Closes. Let me finish this up. Paul Bennett, I suppose. Oh, he's Brian Bourne. He's a Brighton fan. All right, we're back, boys. We're back. Second half. Let me get some water. Come on, Arsenal. I want to shove tequila. Yo, did you post on Twitter? This man left me. All right, all right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Did you post on Twitter? I did. Over. All right, I'm back. I got the cup. Oh. I got a feeling with hey. this. Hey, hey, you got to double cup that shit, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got to double cup that shit. You got to pour some codeine in that shit. <laughs> Man, apologies to anybody watching me and like I'm scourging down my food. I'm really, I was really hungry and I'm, I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just swallowing this shit. Well, give me like two minutes and I'll be done. All right, all right. We'll keep going. Oh, that's the guy. That's the guy. Did he switch sides? I think he did. No, he didn't. I don't know. There you go, Tommy. Yeah, so. Been way to party. Come on. Spread that wall. Pass it to party. Pass it to party. There you go, man. Why so long? Let me ask to get closer. Get closer. Oh, shit. I wonder if he did that on purpose. On the car. Because, I mean, <laughs> that was pretty impressive. Did what on purpose? We did actually, like, the, the, um, give the ball to, or try giving the ball to um, Saka. Oh, yeah, yeah. On that, um, with, the, you know, with his body, or his, like, his uh, thighs. Well, what minute are you on? Uh, 
Oh yeah, we're right there. Cool. Oh my god, that was so good. All right, done. Let's go! Come on, Tomoyasu, skip over that motherfucker challenge. Come on, boys. Hey, Arsenal FC uh, Twitch channel. Don't come raiding us right now because I'm cursing up a storm. I can't help but curse whenever I'm watching the game, so. <laughs> Your little no cursing rule ain't gonna work right now. <laughs> <laughs> but we appreciate it. That was awesome. That was really cool. That was, man. Five seconds of fame, bro. <laughs> Boom, come on boys, let's go! There you go, there you go. Communication! Alright, spread that to Tierney! Spread it to fucking Tierney! Okay, what right, a right, pass right, from Gabby! Right, right. Chucha madre, why can't anybody control the ball up in this bitch? What a waste! What a waste! Tierney, where the fuck are you? Why is Tommy there? Uh uh. Oh! Yo, you gotta close that man down. Uh. Man, they worked that ball really well. I can't even lie. That was just beautiful play. Tomiyasu and uh, and Sambi do need to close down faster though. And I'm still outside. I'm still outside. Tame and because <coughs> I'm still outside. Oh, Did you hear about Kendrick uh, headlining the Super Bowl? Who? Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar. He's gonna do the Super Bowl. Oh, that means we're gonna get it back. <laughs> yeah, Scucarela fucking tearing us apart. Oh, there we go. Come on. You'll pass it back. There you go. Man, that was not a good pass. Hey! Fabian. Fabian, the day that K-Dot brings his tickets out for, for his store, you better fucking buy that shit, bro. No, yeah, for sure. Be on that. I'll send you the money ASAP. You've been saying that for a while. Where's my money at? <laughs> Did you probably buy the tickets for... Um... I'm going to buy them right now. I, shouldn't, I haven't bought it. Oh, okay, okay. I need to buy okay, them because they're about to sell out. Ooh! Party! Tune in to uh, Gabi, Gabi to Tomas, man. Snow White. I can't. You to my Yasu. Back to Snow White. This is what Gabi. This is what Tomas cannot do very well. Ah oh, shit! Oh, what happened? No, it's just that they, they can't get out. They, they, oh, I thought they, somebody got injured first. Brian, Brian's frustrating Arsenal right now, dude. Just they can't get out. They can't get out of the fucking midfield, man. Damn, man. What a great setup from Brian. Yo. Tops off to them. Yep. Man. They set up really well against us. Alright, I think I'm done eating. Now I'm just... This is gluten over here. Like, I'm already full, but I'm still going. It's the Arsenal anxiety, bro. I know, I'm just eating Damn, out of anxiety. See, yep. we're, we're playing right back. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, good good, good shit, Ramsdale. That's what we needed. Ah, oh, fuck me. Come on, Odegaard. There you go! Ah! Oh. There's your boy Sambi. Party with a score. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, Snow. Done. Oh, let's get into this shit, man. Ooh. 
to who to be who to be a, Hold up. You know? I can't be hiding my feelings behind all this food anymore. Let's go. There you go. Come on. There you go. My pie with a bad touch. Come on. Oh, Come on. That's on sight. That's on sight. Thank you. That's on sight. Boom. What are you doing? Oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Up on me. You're fucking kidding me, bro. This is a fucking joke. I lost my head, bud. What is you doing? He was off sides like a motherfucker. Wasn't he? He was off sides. He was definitely off sides. Go for go, you asshole! Paulo, the moment I saw that man try to take on the keeper, I was like, nah, it's not going to be a goal. This man really thinks he's Ronaldo in his prime! Not even Ronaldo fucking CR7, but Ronaldo the Phenomeno. That's why I can't fuck with these motherfuckers nowadays, Paulo. I can't watch this shit anymore. <sighs> I need to give you some water. And I need to find my fucking phone. So shocked that hell about I know I know it was outside, it wouldn't have counted, but still man. Damn. What a missed fucking chance. Not done this shit like He's looking at half sides. So it didn't fucking matter. Alright, goddammit. <clears throat> I'm fucking pissed. So was that, was that... There you go, Gabby. Look at that fucking header, goddammit. Oh, Gabby. The only player... Oh, hey. Tierney! Oh my god, Tierney's playing like shit. Hey, the Tierney. only player I'm fucking talking to right now and I'm giving a shout out to is Gabby, ESR, and Saka. Not even Odegaard, I'm sorry. Everybody else right now can fuck off because you guys have been playing like absolute dog shit. Tomas has been all okay. <clears throat> ben White has been okay too, I guess. He's about to oh, he's about to get Tomas is about to get fucked up by Cucurella. Nice, nice. Hey, Saka, get in that shit! Ah, oh, this game is giving me a headache. Come on, you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. I've been dealing with salmonella and now I gotta watch this shit. Go. Come on, that's you! Come on, Saka, just oh, run. Just fucking oh, run, to oh, man, just run to the so byline. Just run to the byline. Just run to the byline, bro, bro. Why are you hiding, bro? Why are you hiding? Get into the middle. Why are you fucking hiding? Who? Who are you talking to right now? Aubameyang, bro. He Aubameyang. He's on the, in the second fucking pole. You know damn well you fucking can't hit her, man. So make yourself seen in the middle. <laughs> Oh my god, come on! What a waste of a fucking corner! Just make something happen, Saka, please. Don't give the ball to any of these motherfuckers anymore. Oh hey! There you go, come on! Have a shot, bruh! No, not you! You told me! Not you! Shoot, 
I was talking to fucking ESR. <laughs> oh, Partey. You make man. tackles and make good passes. That's it. Oh, Partey. Why do you keep wanting this shit? You're like, up, fuck man. it, man. <laughs> bro, it's his fucking shoes, bro. <laughs> I don't know what the hell it is. It's oh, something. my God. <laughs> he has two left foots, bro. That's why the fucking shit He's got is. bricks, man. He's got bricks in the fucking feet. <laughs> Look at Pele, he's fucking smiling. He's like, hey, keep fucking up. <laughs> oh, there you go up on me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, Come on. hey, you got Saka running to you? Yeah, I'm done. Hey, I'm no, done. I can't do it no more, man. I can't do this shit anymore. God damn it, man. Fucking sell him already. Look at this motherfucker's touch compared to Obama. He's stupid. Get out, Obama, man. Sit the fuck out, man. I can't do it with Obama Yang anymore, man. That man can't control... He can't control shit, all right? Look at this. What is that, Obama? What the fuck is He's that? Get him out, Teta. Put like a set. This is especially bad even for Obama Yang's fucking standards this season. I'm about to tweet that shit. Fuck everybody. Oh. Oh boy, no. No, it's not looking good, man. You can't seem to control the ball, man. You just can't control the fucking game. That's all. The play. The... <coughs> I can't. I can't give the fucking rain a pass. Cause why the fuck isn't it affecting the goddamn Brighton team? They seem to be controlling the ball just fine. Come on, man. I'm tweeting right now, god damn it. Not you. <laughs> you go, Pepe. Come on. Teta, we need to bring... <sighs> Have Obamia come off, bro. Have Obamia come off. Put Niketia right now, bro. He'll do better than Obamia is right now. Hell no. Come on, Savi. Savi to Partey. Oh. Oh, Partey. Why'd you have to make the difficult pass? Why? Ah. Uh, they pose this shit. So Odegaard is telling Saka to go up, push up, and pressure up front. Fuck up out of here. But Saka's not listening to him at all. Tomoyasu, please. Please, man. Get that ball up out of here. This is Tomoyasu's worst game in a long time. <laughs> this is the third game. Whatever. It's his worst <laughs> game since he fucking joined the club. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everybody talking about fucking subbing uh, Tomas when For who? a bummy For is who? like shit? Yeah, who the fuck who are we gonna put in there? Who would I put Barte instead of Barte, bro? You fucking put a Lenny, bro? Come on now. Odegaard's coming on. Odegaard's coming off? No, he, yeah, he's coming off, sorry. <clears throat> I guess Smith Rowe's gonna go uh, to the middle. Ah. All right, baby. This is your time, boy. Shit. 
I, I thought Odega was fine. Yeah. I don't think he's come but he, yeah, think somebody has to come off, and I don't think I think if any, uh, yeah, well, no shit, Obama needs to come off. That's a fact. He's the only <laughs> offensive player we can go with. We should have put Laka, bro. He's not playing anymore. Like it's out the fucking well, club. Matter, bro. Just don't fucking play, what bro. the fuck oh, does a boy, why put the shit away? Dude. Put the shit away, bro. You know. Why the fuck does uh I don't know what it is about Arteta, but it seems like when everybody leaves, everybody just leaves in a fucking bad term. Why can't just you be amicable and you live leave like a fucking like a reasonable person? Like hey, you're gonna play until you leave and then you're gone. But no, everybody has to be iced out. Man, a fucking Arteta is such a fucking drama queen, dog. It's like he's some running some fucking Mean Girls musical or some shit. Yeah, motherfuckers all. You're all in or Right, exactly. Oh, shit. There you go. Oh, that's a great pass. Good job, BSR. That's you. Uh, that's you. That control, bro. Ah, fuck out of here, Obama Yang. Obama Yang, what the fuck, bro? Damn, 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 damn. Take a shot with your left, bro. Just try it. Not watching this shit anymore. Yeah, but man, look at him. He's fucking holding his head down, bro. Our captain is holding this his head down. This man's got no confidence. Down. No fucking confidence. I don't see nobody on Twitter talking about this shit. I'm sorry if it sounds harsh. But you cannot tell me that Aubameyang's playing even averagely compared to the rest of the team right now. He's solely the worst player right now. Oh, shit. Gabby's down. Yeah, he got fucking. Uh, he fine. got done with that fucking, with that with that fist of clearance. I think he'll be okay. Oh man, our fucking fans fucking coddle all of our players. I understand coddling a fucking teenager. I get that, but a bummying. I just saw Mo's Twitter. He said he's been off the pace. Off the pace. Tell me Yasuo has been off the pace. I bought me his like ass. Anytime he gets the ball anywhere near him, he immediately loses it, gives it away, or fucking... Yeah, that's really it. Those are the only two options. Those are only the two things he's done. Damn. I can't take this shit anymore. I can't take not knowing what kind of striker I'm about to have from one week to the next. This inconsistency is just pissing me off. I almost wish he would just be shit all the time. Which he, he kind of has been. He just shows up and scores a couple goals every once in a while. To remind everybody, hey, I can still poach a goal every once in a while. I still got it. Man, if, you know, on fantasy, you should get negative points for the amount of fucking turnovers you've had. This is fucking horrendous. What a terrible performance. We've had a lot of players that haven't played well, but it's just... To me, it's obvious that Aubameyang has been our, probably our worst player. Not probably. He's been our worst player, definitively. Ah, Tomas. Tomas has been up there, too. He's been awful. There you go, Saka. At least fucking win a header every once in a while. This is disgraceful, bro. Just take him off already. I don't I care don't if fucking, like I said, fuck your mother. Suck up your pride and do what's right for the team, Arteta. Get him out, bro. Get him out, Arteta. Get him out. What are we waiting for? Nothing. Because he ain't going to do shit. What are we shit. waiting for? He's already missed a, a golden opportunity. Where he decided to round the keeper instead of fucking putting it in the back of the net like a normal player. Oh, Jesus, Lord. Mm. Shit. 
Where's Mope from? Do you know? Um, he is from. Let me look it up. <clears throat> Uh, he's French. Mm. I, I did know that, actually. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. Oh, that was a good header. There you go, Sambi. Good header. Okay. Who are you passing that to? Oh, but he's not going to be there. You know that. Look at that possession, bro. 60-40, homie. 60 fucking 40. 11 shots yep. to 6. They haven't had a lot of shots on goal, though. <laughs> Shit. They actually haven't had any. <laughs> because our, de our defense is the most exciting part of uh, Arsenal. I'm exhausted. I'm also just watching this shit. Plus, I ate too fast. It's hard to stay fucking positive with Arsenal, bro. I knew it. I knew this was gonna happen, Fabian. Bro, it's it's. You go in, You go against Tottenham. You have. You put in such a great performance, like this ten out of ten performances, and then the the next game. You completely fucking shy out, bro. Instead of fucking building on that momentum. Yep. Embarrassing. No, bro. I thought I thought we might. Hey, this is time and time and time again with Arsenal. Same bullshit, bro. Same fucking bullshit. We played against United last year. <laughs> you know what we did the following Fuck game? Fuck out of here. What? We struggled. We struggled and we kept going. Oh, yeah, I down. remember that. that. That mentality, bro. I don't know. Just put us out of our fucking misery already. Oh, Jesus. They're toying with us. That was a handball. Oh, my God. Oh, he got hit in the chest. Where did he get hit? Oh, they're going to look at it now. Oh, fuck me. No, he got hit in the face. Oh, okay. Thank God. Ah, oh, man, it's just, it, honestly, it's going to sound like I'm I'm putting all the blame on Aubameyang and I'm scapegoating him, but I'm really not. It's just hard to play with a striker who's like, he's, he's literally, today he's been a black hole. Any kind of pass you send to him, it's just going to end up a, tur a turnover. He's just going to give it right back to Brighton. How do you play with a striker like that? And even whenever you leave him with a goalkeeper one on one, he still misses a fucking open opportunity. And I think it might have been offside anyways, but still. He decided to round the goalkeeper and then he missed it. How do you how? Thank I'm, you! I'm, fucking I'm, thank I'm, you! I should, I should have had it. 65. At 65, minute 65, bro. Fuck. So fucking late, bro. There you go. Finally, man. Man, I wouldn't blame him. Like I said, if he just came in here and fucking pissed on the goddamn pitch. And that's it. Man, fuck you. Fuck you and your fucking team. Fuck you for not playing me. Unused sub in each of the previous three Premier League matches. I think we only won one of those matches. Fuck you. Man, I think that just strikes me as such a fucking cocky fuck. He strikes me as somebody who has a massive ego. And the way he manages the team. I just feel like he's such a he's got such a fucking massive ego. Just from all the fucking fights that he picks with players, all of the people that come in and out and he just doesn't use them anymore because they challenge him. Enough. Yeah. What are you? 
It, it's like, why do, you, why do you think, Fabian, that, that Arteta is building young players? Because they don't have any egos. Really because they don't have, you know, they, they, they're unexperienced. They're thankful for Arteta for giving, him, giving them a chance. So, you know. And honestly, Partey, I know he's a senior player, but honestly, Partey, I don't think he's the one to buy back. Nah, yeah, nah. You know, a coach has to be able, a championship coach, which he's not that, clearly. Arteta's just not that. He's a rebuilding coach. He's somebody that you're going to use to rebuild and retool. But he's not going to take you to the, I don't think so, at least. I don't see it in him. He's not the coach that would take you to, I don't even think top four, really, in my opinion. But, <clears throat> but like I said, um, if you're a, a coach at that level, you have to manage egos. Because a great player comes with fucking huge egos. That's just the way it is. These players make fucking millions of dollars. You're not going to find one without an ego. And the best ones typically have an ego. And rightfully so, you could probably say. No pay, you're going to get that minus point, bro. Oh, fuck out of here. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Man, none of my strikers showed up this week in fantasy. None of them. I was hoping Ronaldo wouldn't play at all, so yeah, I could just sub him, but he played. Now it's all up to Grealish and my uh, and, Can and Cancelo. That's it. <laughs> I had Saka too to give me some points. There you go. Lachlan. There you go! Ah, oh. oh, what the fuck is that? Good intention, good intention. But that's how you fucking control a ball. What the fuck is that? Oh, okay, well, it was close enough, I guess. Come on now, we actually have a proper striker that can hold up the ball. Let's use them. There you oh. go! Oh. There you go! Hey, come on, come on! Come on. Yes, sir, please. You ah, on. That's how you Let's fucking go. play. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, come on, man. Right there. Right there. Just square that shit, man. Saka would have fucking... Wait, that's not... That's Zambi, isn't it? Is that Saka? Is that Zambi? That's Zambi. That's Zambi. Where the fuck is Saka at? I think that was Saka. What are you raising your hand for? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, ESR. There you go, Pepe. I don't care that a bummy scores every once in a while. I don't want to see him play. The handball? Nah, it hits him in the face. It looks like a handball. I don't blame him for a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's tapping his head. Man, stop fucking smiling, motherfucker. Motherfucker looks like the penguin. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mopai! Uh, it's a Mopai or Mopé? I don't know. I think it's Mopai. Mopé? It's probably Mopé in French. Jesus Christ. This is how you fucking play oh, with Garrett a striker. That's, that's God, shut up. <laughs> Look at that shit! There you go. Come on. Quick that's you. That's you. You fuck him up. You fuck him up. Let's get that shit. Come on, Tomiyasu. Pass it right back. Aye, 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 aye. Aye, aye, aye. Beautiful. Oh! Put it. Oh, that's you. That's you. Okay, 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 that's good, that's good, that's good. Man, look at how much better we play with a fucking actual striker. Yep. The fits our system. Man, it's like, uh, I just don't understand it. Great value, uh, great value Ramsey right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking Walmart version for Ramsey. <laughs> fucking big lots. <laughs> Are you a bit to roses? <laughs> <laughs> Man, you only find roses in the in the ghettoest of the ghettos in the fucking USA. You find a rose. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> I'm 
McAllister. He's about to like do the little hair thing that uh, Ramsey used to do. Like, yeah, he used to come back <laughs> to the side. <laughs> there you go. Come on, come on. There you go. He's on sides. Come on, Pepe. Cucurella. Cucurella. For once, Cucurella's not attacking our fucking fullback. We're attacking him. Isn't that crazy? We're not going to score from a corner, though. We need to find another way. That ESR chance was a chance. That was that was it. How are you going to give the ca the captain armband to a player that hasn't played in three fucking games? What the fuck? That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, shit. Oh! Gabby! Keep it alive. Keep it alive. Keep it alive. Hey, hey! Our hey, ball! Yeah, our, our ball! ball That's our ball! <laughs> White, just take it, bro. Just take That's it. That's the gif from, from LeBron. That's our ball, isn't it? That's our ball! <laughs> Come on. Come on, boys. I'm gonna scream at goal. Oh, fucking Pepe. Why are you taking them? I know. Them, I don't like Pepe taking them, honestly. The little stepping that he does. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, come on. Uh-oh. Don't do it. What is this? He's setting himself up to do it. He's going to go for it. Oh, Great pass. Nice. Hey! hey, that's beautiful. Yeah, Put him in. Oh. Ben, why won't you pass it back to fucking like I said? Oh, I just want like I said to have one chance. Please. Get one shot on goal. I can't believe Arteta waited until the 70th minute. I could have told you at the 30th minute that like that Aubameyang wasn't doing shit this game. Equally. Shit, that was a terrible pass. <laughs> I don't know about that one. That's pretty much a tactic right now. Just pass it to like I said and then revolve around him. Get out of here. God. Damn. I'm, I'm tweeting. Entertain the people because I'm tweeting. I'm, I'm a post. Look at how well we actually play with a striker. What a little post, man. Like, that, not a right, not a, a... Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck! Get the fuck out of here, man. Cucurella, bro. Fucking Cucurella. I know. He's been giving Tomiyasu fits. Oh. He needs to be. Tomiyasu cannot let that ball come in. I don't care what the fuck he has to do. He's just been so much trouble for him. Look, he's a complete burden. Nightmare. I don't have nightmares over this. Cucurella. I'm like a scary movie. I'm gonna put a post after this. Well, I gotta, I gotta get the shit off, man. I gotta get the shit off of my fucking system. Get it out. Get it out. There you go. Come on. This is it. Come on, Saka. Come on, Saka. There you go. Get that uh, shit. Oh, hey, ref. That's a foul. There you go. That's a, that's a yellow card right there. That was not a good pass from Saka. It took too damn long. <sighs> Yo, we look like such a different team with, uh, yeah. like I said, Alan. We really, really do, man. This playing Obama thing got us up. I don't care if, like I said, it's less. Man, I don't know what the, like I said, did, but he did something fucked up. Or. He didn't sign the contract, bro. That's all it was. Ah, oh, come on, guys. All right, he I'm probably done. wants to pay too much money, and Arsenal won't, won't even pay a lack of that. Even though I think uh, he deserved it more than Alba, or at least now, uh, maybe back then, maybe Alba did deserve it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. what you doing? Now is not the time. Oh my 
God. I would take out Tierney now and put in uh, Tavares. What's he going to do? Huh? What's he going to do? Give us some speed and some going a little forward. bit more. Make us feel lively on the on the wings again. That's what he's going to do. Well, Paulo, you, you, post, you post something. I don't know what to say. I'm about to lost for words. I'm about to just post penis. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, just be like, um, you know, who was our worst player today? Because <laughs> we didn't have a best player. We had a worst player. <laughs> I'll put it. Who was the worst player? Like, I'm going to put like a little poll. Who was the worst player? Is Alba? Obama Yang? Or Obama Black? Like, yeah. <laughs> yep. This is wild. This is just madness. Absolute fucking madness. How are we losing the fucking fire that we had earlier on when Obama, when like I said, first came on? Come on, let's get back to that shit. We can still score. We got five more minutes. There you go. Ugh. I guess I'm not drinking. Saka anymore. is not good on the left. <laughs> just put fucking Pepe on the left. Pepe? Pepito? This just doesn't work. This game is done, dude. I think so, too. I think it's over. At least I got a clean sheet. I guess at least I got points for that. There you go! Ah, oh, Saka. Ah! I hate him on the fucking left! Our best player playing on the wrong side. It's just not, it's just not good, man. I just, Arteta, I question so many of the decisions you make, bro. <laughs> you just can't. I can't. You can never convince me you're a great coach. I just, nope. I love it. I love it. Shut up, Pablo. I'm not trying to be negative, And you're fucking, you're enabling my negativity right now. <laughs> We need somebody else. Coaching brain. I wanted it to work out with Arteta, but I just I just don't see it. I don't I I, I don't see the, the process. What, <laughs> you know, Eric's mentions. Trust the process. We're too inconsistent for that to be a process. I mean this is the second season, I guess, of the beginning of the process. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe I it'll think be we the kinda, first. But... We, you know, I get that we're we're in the stage of rebuilding, right, Fabian? I get that we're playing, you know, we're buying these twenty-three-year-old players and all that stuff. Oh, uh, uh, and I get, <gasps> uh, yeah. Well, what a save, though, Ramsel. What a save. What a save. <laughs> Fuck. Beauty, look at that. That was smart from Rams, though. Oh wow, look at that. That was shit, smart from Rams, though, because he knew that shit was gonna be a pass. He's like, nope, oh. you're not getting that shit. <laughs> what a safe. You know why that was good goalkeeping? Because if he doesn't fucking stop the cross from coming in, the header mm -hmm. cross, he can't stop. He can't stop the, the, the shot afterwards. Yeah. There's yep. no way. It's smart. Too he close. Yep. To you got to stop it before he gets to him. Because if mm -hmm. he hits it, it's going in. Mm -hmm. Shit, he almost scored again. Parte needs to do better there. Man, fuck this game. Cucurella. Yeah, I agree. He's been all over the place. He's been a nightmare for us. Oh, he got the men of the match? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Well, that's what they're saying. That's deserved. Look, here he is again. Oh, Jesus. Oh, He's Jesus. He's been killing Tomoyasu. There you go, Ben White. Beat him. There Why do we Come do on, this? Tommy. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. Right there. Come on. That's you, Pepe. That's you. Hey, uh, no, no. Yes, sir. You got to make that run right there, bro. There you go. Hey. Ah, why'd you go down? No, He's not going to no, call that a penalty. No, no fucking penalty, man. Why'd you go down? Because he pushed him, bro. Look at that push. Look, 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 look. Ah, he should have stayed up. He? He went like this! Nah, he was trying to get that fucking penalty, bro. He holds them! Nah, he's trying to get that penalty. Get out of here. 
He holds on Tavian. Nah. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. He could have stayed up if he wanted to. You got to take Smith Rowe out. He's been running his ass off the whole game. I don't think he's of any use anymore. I think he's burned out. I think he's done. Oh. Fuck. We don't have any fucking bench, dude. Our bench is ass. Well, we're going for the draw. Oh, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Bring this man in. Let's just shore up. Get this draw. I just want to go where I feel wanted. <laughs> that's what. That's what. And in, in, England's my. In my <laughs> wow. Saka. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think we're going into a um, break. Oh yeah, Townsend. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I didn't. I don't remember that they were playing against United when he hit that. See, <laughs> hmm? uh, Townsend when he scored, he did the Ronaldo celebration. Oh, and he was playing against United at Old Trafford. That's funny. Yeah, today, right? Yep. Yeah, he's mocking. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's that's a derby right there. That's a derby. Get it out. Oh, my God. There you go. Come on. Look at Gokurela, dude. Yeah, he's been excellent. Oh, my God. Pepe, man. Pepe. Oh, no, ref. Oh, get out of here with that soft shit. What? For who? Partey. I thought it was a bummy in the player who got it back anyways. Oh. He didn't do shit. How's that a yellow? Oh, he does elbow him. Oof, that does look like it hurt. Oh, shit. Man, who gives a fuck? I'm done with this motherfucking game. Get the fuck out of my motherfucking face. You know, one day tossing my phone like this is going to come back and bite me in the ass. I'm going to break it somehow. I'll just do this. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Good, Fabian. You can get one of, um, you know. The 14 or whatever? No, I'm good. I think they're like in 17. I'm Gucci. They're not at 17. Isn't that like an iPhone 3? <laughs> Whatever. Paul is trying to embarrass me in front of the people. That's fucked up, That's fucked up man. Can you flip yours? <laughs> <laughs> I got a burner, puppy. Good little burner. I got a burner for drug deals. Oh, I'm so done with this shit. Just let this shit be over already. I can't do this anymore. We gotta do fucking reviews. Sorry, player ratings. We gotta do player ratings. The fuck are you complaining about, Biatch? Get out of my face. Bar? Oh my god, not this shit. I can't do this shit, I'm out. Oh, possibly five. I'm out. No. Oh, thank good. god. Now that would have been some soft shit. Stop bitching, bro. Let's go. Like I said, we got one last chance. Come on, man. We can do something with it. Come on. At least get a shot on gold or something. My fingers smell like fucking eggs. The fuck? Ew. Just telling you what it is. Mm. Giving the old what is back. that? Ah, I hate you fuckers. That shit froze. That's game. <laughs> <laughs> that 
Let's fucking start this shit real quick. I got shit to do today. <laughs> that shit froze. That's game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Come on, like I said, you gotta put a better header than that. It's over. Just let it great. over already! End Ooh. this shit! Uh, Alright, let's start this shit, bro. Bro, it's still going. Give me a second. They're attacking right now. I'm gonna put in one yes. last cross. Oh, shit. Dude, Are you serious? Over. End the fucking thing! Wow. It's over. It's over. Now it's over. It's not over yet! Now it's over. Look <laughs> how, like I said, he's pissed. This shit froze. Fuck you and the click you claim. Alright, let me, before we start, start talking. Start with, uh, Rancel, dude. I'm gonna go take it. First off, fuck your bitch and the click you claim. West side, when we ride, when we quit we gang. You claim to play for Arsenal while I fucked your wife. <laughs> Man, this was terrible. I can't. I don't even know what to talk about. The defense was solid, as usual. You know you got Gabby back there. You know you're gonna fucking at least keep keep it respectable, even against a decent team. Um, so we were actually pretty decent back there. Uh, Tomiyasu, this is the worst he's looked in my opinion. What the fuck is Ben White laughing about? I don't know. The fuck are you smiling about? I don't know. And he was okay. Oh, yeah, he's meeting up with his old player. I get it. I'm sorry. Got it. it still pisses me off, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> Tomiyasu, he was, uh, yeah, he was poor. He got torched by Cucurella at every fucking opportunity. He was having nightmares. I'm sure he'll continue to have nightmares about it. Um, ben White, he looked okay. Gabby. Was solid as fuck. I think he's our best player, honestly. Um, Tierney, he's looked bad. He's looked bad for a while now. I don't know what's been going on this season. Is not he's not looked as good as before. Uh, and Ramsdale right. was Ramsdale was actually solid again. Uh, I think his distributing was All right. a little bit okay. lacking. But I also blame Aubameyang for that. Come on, let's go. Let's do this shit. I'm already let's ranting. All right. Where you at with Ramsdale? Let's go, Ramsdale. Let's start with Ramsdale. I thought I was saying that I thought he was solid, like you know, shot stopping wise, and I think he made some really good decisions in the box. Uh, I thought his distribution was okay, and I thought it looked worse because of Aubameyang, because every time he launched it to him, nothing happened. So I'm gonna give Ramsdale a seven. I'll give him a seven today. Damn, uh, that's probably one of your higher. Higher rating players today, Fabian, isn't it? He did get it. He they managed to keep the, you know, the goal from going in today. So, ups to him. I like the, you know, the shots that, you know, that he stopped. I think he was great in positioning. Mm -hmm. um, I think this is this is very smart goalkeeper. That's what I noticed today. Yeah, I, I saw that too. He made some really I, I think, smart decisions. I think his intellectuality um, is, you know, far ahead of his age. I think we, we, you know, nobody saw that when we, um, when, whenever we got him in towards the end of the transfer window this year. Yeah. So for you know for him, I think that's a, that's a really fair number right there, seven. He's probably one of going to be one of my higher um, higher rated uh, players. Players, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to Tomiyasu. I said it was probably his worst game. Yeah, no, definitely. It's definitely been his worst, you know, his worst game out of the the two or out of the three that he's he started and played throughout the '90s. Completely different player from what he what we saw last uh, last time around against Tottenham. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, then then, I, then, there, then again, let's we can say that uh, you know, Brighton was a better team today. They really were. So Tommy Yasu, I this is where I wanted to see. Um, this is what I want to see the first game, which was kind of him being the more defensively, because that's what we lacked on the right hand side for a couple years now. Um, I think offensively he's there though, but defensively I'm, I, I'm still like it, it just it's just a gray gray cloud right now for me. He got destroyed by Cucurella. <clears throat> There's no yeah. other way I can say it. He got absolutely. He's gonna have nightmares about him tonight. Oh, yeah. yeah, he he tore him one. 
<clears throat> yep. So yeah, I'm gonna give him. Okay. I think I'm gonna give him a, a four point five. Four point five. Okay. I think he, he, I think he was our worst offender today. Mm-hmm. Four point five. Um, I, you know, I'll go with uh, yeah, I'll go with uh, with a five today. Okay. That's decent. Yeah. That's about. Uh, I don't think he was our worst one. I think somebody else was our worst uh, player today, or our worst defender today. Okay. Yeah. Let's do uh, let's do Ben White. Ben White, uh, I think he became really irrelevant the second half. I don't think he had a lot of moments. Um, maybe because he he was doing his position, he was all right positioning wise. Yeah. Um, maybe not the best defender, but I, I think he had a good couple, good save on the first time uh-huh. around yeah, the, or the first half. Yeah, I agree. The first half he was very solid. Mm-hmm. Second half, yeah, he yeah, kind of kind of became irrelevant. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, uh, you know he faced his old team, which is Brighton. I'll go ahead and give him. Um, I'll give him a five. I'll give him a six. Thought he was okay, okay. about average. Uh, and uh, the first half he was good. Second half, kind of not as good. So it balances out to about a six, I think. Mm. Yeah, okay. for me. Let's go to Gabby. You what? But yeah, you're right. You're a little bit right there. I, you know, if I, you know, if I could change my my thing, I'll give him, you know, a six as well. You can't change. I'm just kidding. You're right. I know. I know. I'll keep my fucking. Okay. Five, okay. Right? Fine. 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 Gabby. Gabby. Gabby, outstanding man. Man, outstanding our best player. Our best player, I think. Yeah, our best fucking player right now. Absolutely. He's he's nothing to fuck with, bro. Mm-mm. Nah, he's doing so solid. He's a boss. He's a boss. So solid. There. Mm-hmm. Did you see whenever he like clears headers, he clearly jumps above the 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 opposition. It's just like he clears everybody when when he jumps for a header. He's so good in the air, so dominant. He is. He is. Yeah. He's just he's one of those center backs that you can just see that aggression and yeah. and complete control of his mind mm-hmm. and focused and yeah. he's there to not let no nothing go in. He looks like it's the not- perfect defender to me. We've Yo, had. That's it, that- that's another clean sheet for this mm-hmm. guy since we fat him back. And like I've always said about him, he's got that rare ability to make the whole defense better. He just does. He influences everybody around him to play better. And that's something that you have to give props to. So because of mm-hmm. that, I level him up another level. He's already the perf- perfect defender, but people around him do not fuck up, do not fuck up whenever he's, he's back there. So because of that, I even give him more props, give him more points. Um, I'll give him a, an eight today. An eight. Yeah. Yep, I like that. I like that. I'm also at the eight range. What up, Mark God? Mm. We're just rating what's the up, players. We're rating this uh, this fucking performance here. Yeah. So far, we're at Gabby, which we thought he was the, like the best performer out there today. Yeah, so far, I think so. Uh, yeah, I like your rating, Fabian. I like that eight. Yeah, I really like that. I think he he's just he's just been. The most standout player on our team, which is rare for a defender. As soon as he comes in, he's just, you know, ever since he started playing, ever since he recovered from his injury, he's just been our best player, I think. Um, that's what? Two, t- oh, no, we conceded the last game against Tottenham. That was a stupid goal, though, but whatever. Yeah. But I don't worry about him. So whenever he's on the pitch and he's on the team, I think we're going to be competitive. At least, like, I, we're not going to concede too many goals. We're going to, like, keep yeah. it respectable. So. Yeah, yeah. Eight, our best player. Eight, yep, eight for me as well. Uh, uh, let's go into your uh, tyranny. That's the guy who you thought was worse than Tomiyasu, am I right? Yeah. Okay. This is. Go ahead. Man, honestly, man, uh, he's kind of like out of form right now. Currently, mm-hmm. um, he hasn't. He's, you know, this is this is not the player that we saw last year. This is not the player we saw in the Euros. You know, this is he's out of form right now. Um, he's, I think Arteta is doing well. We just keep, you know, keep at it and keep playing him. Um, I do think that he's gonna come back to that to that form once again, and hopefully he's back after this um, international break mm-hmm. that we're gonna about to have. Hopefully he's gonna come back with energy and with a mind that he's, you know, that he's he was once our best player out there. Uh, yeah, he's been on. Yeah, just bad form. That's the best way to describe it. I think he's not been anywhere near what he was last <clears throat> last year, and it kind of it makes him look even worse because last year he was one of our best players, and this year he's probably been one of our worst. 
So the, the the fact that such a drop has happened, it just makes him look worse. I think he's still like, I think he's still battling some like injuries or some niggling. He doesn't look as fast. He looks heavy, like you said. I don't know. I think he's still like battling some injuries, honestly. I mean, the, it, that shit happens, bro. Injuries are mm-hmm. very psychological yep. after you come out of them, yep. right? And they're part of the game. So, I mean, even when his best asset was going forward, and you you said it, you said it when we were talking about uh, Tierney during the game that he's just been um, it, defenders have caught up to his uh, uh, the, his style of play in the game. Yeah, I think so too. So that was a good shout out, though. Because it's true. I do think that he's very one-dimensional. Um, but he needs to kind of up his game. But at the same time, he needs to get that run of form first. He needs to do the simple things first instead of going all um, extravagant and trying to come up with shit, you know? So for me, Tyrion today, he honestly gets a three for me. Oh, damn. Um, I'll give him the same score that I gave to Miyasu. I give him a 4.5. Um... Four yeah, it, 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 we didn't look as bad on his side. I don't think he got torched. He got torched. I don't, I don't know. I didn't see it as much as Kukurela destroying Tomiyasu every fucking five minutes. Oh, but yeah, but it's like if I, the, the reason I you know to the, to the defend of um, the, the only reason I don't give him the same rating as I give Tomiyasu was because you know what Tierney can offer, bro. I mean, no, that's true. We don't know. We don't know what Tomiyasu can offer yet, but Tierney. We know what he can do offer offensively. This entire game, the only thing I saw was one uh, one cross. So you think, like, the fact that he's, you know that he's a great player, it, it makes you rate him even lower because he played so bad. It, right, uh, okay. right. Because I think this is probably his worst game, if not against Chelsea. I guess Chelsea and this uh, against Brian was probably about the same. Yeah, the, the uh, Chelsea game was awful. Yeah. It really was, man, and and you know that's the, that's the main reason why I'm lowering him, you know, his rating so down or at least below uh, Tomiyasu's, just because I know what to expect from this guy, and when he doesn't do what his his advantage is in the in the field correctly, then you know that takes a takes a, you know into account. It's the same thing with the bombing. Whenever he don't score, we you know that influences our rating. Well, let's move on to uh, the midfield then. Let's move on to another player who uh, Twitter was not happy about. Tomas. Tomas Parte. 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 Mm. Uh, a mixed bag for me. Because I thought he was... Uh, I thought he was good at breaking up play occasionally. And I gave him props for trying out like the, the risky passes that he tried. He would try out passes that weren't obvious. And I respect that and I gave him props for that. But some of the decision making that he was making was just not good. Like, mm. yeah, he, he like, come on, you gotta stop shooting at some point. <laughs> like, you're just not that guy for that kind of shit. So he needs to limit that down or work on it, get better at it, and he needs to improve his decision making. Like, you know, choosing which passes to make at which time, what time mm. you need to play out of the back and what time you don't, things like that. I think he needs to improve on that. So yeah. a mixed bag for me. I give him a. I give him. I give him a five. I think he was slightly better than Tomiyasu, but yeah, a five. Yeah. Okay. Parte, 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 parte. Um, you know, but props. You know, at least uh, you know. Give let's give him some credit for take. You know, take taking a chance and trying to score. I think that he did a lot more than most players in in, in some positions. Um, but you know, then again, he hasn't you know on target. He needs to try not scoring, at least keeping them in target, if that makes sense. I know it's kind of reverse. Yeah, I get, con- I get what you're saying. Contra. At least testing the goalkeeper, um, even if you know it's not going to score. Yeah, and and yeah, Partey, you know, he hasn't scored, bro. But I I, I have a feeling, bro. As soon as he he's gonna score that one <laughs> shot, man. You gotta keep he's taking them off. shits. <laughs> yeah. As soon as he score one, I, he's gonna. I, I think he has the power, but uh, the accuracy is not there yet, bro. Mm-hmm. It's it's like a, it's like a, um, uh, it's like if you're you're shooting from a long range, you're 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 a great weapon, but you, you know you don't have that scope yet. Yeah, and he was he was in good positions too. He found himself in good positions. He was just not getting them on target. 
yeah, I thought he was okay this game. I, I don't think I don't I don't see why people were complaining. Um, if anything, uh, he was he's probably had to do two man job. Yeah, that's true. Zombies inexperience. Uh, but you know, but yeah, I just don't I don't I don't I don't see it. I don't see why people are saying that he had a bad game. Uh, I thought I thought it was okay. Maybe not uh, completely. Um, uh, you know, extravagant. You know, extravagant game, but. I mean, come on, man. I mean, Partey, Partey is doing a job. Uh, I, I, I don't know, but I'll give him a six, bro. I don't think I he's been our worst six. player, but I don't think he's had. I don't think he had a good game today, but I don't think he's been our worst player. I yeah. don't think that. I, I, you know, so. and I, you know, dude. I mean, uh, Brian wasn't the worst team either, dude. They played well. They played really well, mm-hmm. especially when they were, you know, they kept the speed up. Yeah, you know, they played really Arsenal. fucking well, that, that, actually, looking back at the stats. Yeah, yeah bro. It, they, they have most of the possession. Mm-hmm. We couldn't keep possession. Yeah. And that's saying a lot because we, you know, uh, we brought in Odegaard to keep that possession. And, I mean, that's the only main reason he's there is to keep possession. Possession. Um, in that aspect, I do miss Shaka yeah. because I think he would have slowed the game slow enough mm-hmm. for us to build up. But it, because of the rain, of course. But in any other game, I don't. I don't think Shaka, you know, would have been impressed. In all the, any agree. other aspect of this, game. anyways. Uh huh. So yeah, six for Partey. La Conga, or I'm sorry, Sambi, Sambi. Sambi, Sambi. He really doesn't make me miss uh, Shaka, bro. <laughs> I thought he was okay. <clears throat> he's quick, bro. He's quick yeah, on his he's feet physically. and off yeah. it, off his feet, right? And he's physical as well. Uh huh. Uh, he is young though, so he's mm. apt to make mistakes right. on the midfield. It's like the partnership, uh, though, you know. Like, uh, were like Tomas and Laconga or Sambi. I'm sorry, I keep calling him fucking Laconga. Were a Tomas and Sambi partnership flourish? Is that a good partnership to have? I don't know. I think it kind of depends on the opposition, and maybe this wasn't the right game for that. Mm. It just didn't feel like it made. It didn't feel like they gelled well together a whole lot. But I thought he was okay too. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I, he got he was caught a lot of out of position mm-hmm. this game. Yep. I've noticed that, it, but it, it was due to the fact that Tierney K fucked him up on the right hand side, yeah. or on the left hand side, I should say. He did have to cover for him a lot. He did. He did. Mm-hmm. He really did. And um, and then the parte, you know, he he's like I said, he has he had a do two man job today. Mm-hmm. But that's all right though, because uh, you know, Sammy needs Sammy needs to learn. And he'll learn with these type of games. These types of games against these, bot, you know, bottom feeders uh, are, pro- <laughs> nah. uh, are probably like uh, the training that they need. Brian's not bottom feeder right now. They look. Nah, I know. They're, they're, yeah, they they look fine. Yeah, they look they look okay. I mean, I think I think they'll level out and you know go down, you know kind of get into their spot later on this season. You know, it's been seven games, so it's early. But uh, but right now they look very decent, and even against us, they look very decent. Very good. Yeah. What are your ratings for Zombie? Mm. I go with a five. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a five too. I give him the same as uh, as Tomas. He wasn't so he wasn't as great, but he also wasn't as bad some, sometimes as Tomas looked. So yeah, yeah, I give him a five. Yeah. I think our midfield was probably one of our worst parts. A little bit, They're like the two of them, they kind of. It didn't feel like they helped us control the game too much. Mm. All right, Smith Rowe. I thought Smith Rowe showed up to play. Um, aside from, the, I think the chance today that he had with that great play between him, like I said, and then he should have squared it to Saka, or it might have been—I don't know if it was Saka or no, it, it was Sambi. Okay, the, whoever was making that run from deep in the yeah. midfield, he should have squared <clears> that ball Sambi. away. But aside from that, I thought he played really solid. Man, it was just a, such a contrast seeing Aubameyang and control the ball, and then Smith throw controls the ball. I was like, these do not; these look like they playing completely different leagues. He looks like an amateur Aubameyang, and Smith throw looks like a fucking professional. And we're talking about a nineteen year old and a thirty year old. It was bizarre. But um, I give I give Smith throw a seven point five. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the comment you made is fucking sad, bro. I know. I we're watching it fucking decline and rise. Yeah. Right, you know, right in front of our eyes. But uh, yeah, no, Smithrow was probably one of the better offensive players today. 
fucking drag that team. He makes great fucking runs, mm -hmm. either with or without the ball. Yeah, he has a little fuck up, man. But I mean, that's to expect with these young players, bro. Hey, when you play with young players, bro, you're gonna expect some type of fucking bullshit fuck up, bro. That's that, that's all it is. That's all it is. But yeah, man, for me, he gets a. I'll probably give him a, a six and a half. Okay. That's solid. Uh, yeah. let's see. I'm uh, let's go with Saka right now. Saka. Yeah, let's Saka, Saka. Bro, he he has he has some chances today. Yeah. Um, he just needs to. I, th I thought he looked energetic today. He looked like he was there to play, just like Smith Rowe. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I thought he looks. He looks so well on the right hand side. Yeah, once that's he a gets, spot. gets tossed onto the left, bro, he he just becomes another player. Yeah, dude. I wish I think that would figure that shit out. I don't know why it takes him so. It's like it's not hard to me. Like they look completely different. It's just not. You need to put Pepe on that side. Yeah, well, it's because it's because uh, Pepe is also a, you know a lefty. I know. He wants that cut in. I know to get that um, possible goal. That's why he brought you know he brings him in. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, man, uh, Saka, you know, did some bits today. Um, give him a, I'll give him a six. I don't think he was better than Smith Rowe Maybe. because I think Smith Rowe put himself in better position than mm -hmm. Saka did the entire game. But uh, yeah, no, Saka definitely a six today. I'm gonna give him a. Um, I'm gonna give him a six point five. Um, mm. I gave Smith Rowe a seven point five. I don't think he was as good as Smith. A Smith row, so I give him a 6.5. Pretty much everything you said. Uh, mm. Solid at first, and then as the game went on, he lost relevance. Especially when he moved to that left side, he should not play there. Mm. I think I think we need to. I know that Pepe likes to play on the right hand side, but I think we're better as a team when uh, Saka plays on the right hand side than when Pepe plays on that right hand side. So mm. I think we just need to play them there. Mm. What else? Um. <clears throat> Who else? Uh, Odegaard. Odegaard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is like we we mentioned this in the the previous uh, shows. Mm -hmm. uh, we've mentioned that this 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 is not a player that it's gonna uh, perform to like to the highest level every fucking minute. Mm -hmm. He's one of those players that's gonna come out of nowhere and, and give you that right pass. He's a moments player. A moments player. Mm -hmm. That's what Ozil was, and now this is what Odegaard is. I never expect him to be always, you know, pass, 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 pass. You know, uh, um, for me, Odegaard was probably the most undefined player today. Yeah, I kind of felt like he was missing. He was missing. And to me, Odegaard needs to be more influential since he's playing Cam. And we play so deep mm -hmm. today. That he, you know, this is where he needs to be able to distribute. Yep. He needs to be able to control the ball, especially when play with a player like uh, like Tomas. He just needs to, do yeah, because he can't do. He that. needs to. He can't do that because part because if you saw the part he had to play defensive, mm -hmm. uh, had to play midfield, and he had to play attack today, because Ortega lacked being uh, lacked an appearance today. So, Ortega for me probably gets a uh, a four and a half. 4.5. I give Odegaard, uh, I'm going to give him a 5.5. Um, yeah. 4.5. 5. 5.5. 5. 5. 5. Okay. Yeah, um, he was on the milk carton. That's really the only way I can explain it. Like, he was missing. He was a ghost. I ain't seen the motherfucker. I don't even know if he played. Um, he made a couple passes here and there. You know, typical Odegaard fashion. Great passes, but no, no real influence. No real control of the match no real control of the midfield no real tempo building so to me it's just a 5.5 <clears throat> let's go with a bummer um let me start off this one real quick let me go yeah go ahead uh our worst player easily in my opinion um he was a black hole whenever we needed him to build up play he would fill us whenever ram still gave him a pass and cleared the ball to him that ball wasn't sticking to him in any kind of fashion and it's not even like you could make a pass out of it um, essentially what he was, he was an automatic turnover. When you gave him the pass, he was going to turn that ball over immediately. Uh, it's, I don't know how you can play like that. I don't think it's possible to really play that well like that. Um, I think, honestly, I don't like to blame players, specific players for bad performances, but to me, he's as much as I could give one single player 
the reason why a team performed bad as I could. Um, I think it was maybe like 70% or 80% at fault for the way we played today, attacking-wise. <clears throat> it's just impossible to play like that. And you saw that when a player who had a decent... Because I, I don't think anybody thinks, especially a player who's like as off-form as... Like I said, because he never fucking plays. A player that's as off-form as he is... He came in and immediately made a difference. We looked 10 times better with him on the pitch. And he's not even at his best. And it's not even like when, a, when like I said, it's at his best. He's the best, like, false nine player in the world. He's not. He's just, I don't know. Uh, now at this point, you could consider him an average, like, you know, false nine striker or something like that. And, and we look so much better with him on the pitch. So... Because of that, I have to give Aubameyang the worst rating. I have to give him a... I really have to give him like a 2. And I feel like I'm being generous with a 2. Because he even had an opportunity to score. And he rounded the keeper and he missed. That's yeah. unforgivable for a player like you. That's all you're there for. To score mm -hmm. goals like that. And you miss. And I don't even know if it was offside or not. But you missed. It don't fucking matter. Yeah. Mm, just terrible. I mean, you fuck. Fucking now dead, bro. Um, Terrible. Yeah, bro. This shit is getting old with the bombing right now. It's getting real fucking old. And with it, and and basically the you know, Arteta keep playing him. What you know? What type of bullshit does that you know, key you know, give to the other players? Are they allowed to play bad and then still be able to start if you're a big name? Look, I'll, I, I get it. Aubameyang is a big, big boy in regards to what he brings to the marketing aspect of, mm. of the team. But he is not performing. I think Ab I think Laka, uh, Laka had a better performance than he did the entire game. The last, what, 15 minutes that he came on, he did, mu he did more than uh, Aubameyang did the entire game. And that, and his, that shit's getting fucking old, bro. That first touch he had was completely off. And I was trying to find something that, you know, good to say about him. Because you were, you know, you were killing it over there. Killing about me over there. <laughs> I'm but, sorry. <laughs> but I was trying to find like, something good, and I just can't remember any, anything. That I probably, I mean, he had that one chance that he came from the left side, but then he, he, he ran into a wall, right? And then he got fresh, he got flustered. And then he, he completely did the wrong pass, right? And then you go into the you know the chance that he had right in front of the goal, he missed that. I mean, I know it was off sides, but it, it was off, bro. Uh, I'm getting tired of seeing him start. I need to see, like, a, a different different players, bro, whether it's Naketia or Laka, bro, because that's our two strikers, bro. Mm -hmm. Let's be real, right? Let's be real. That's our two strikers right there, Fabian. Yeah. So, go ahead and start Laka next game. I don't care if he leaves in January. I don't care. Just go ahead and start him. But um, What are the ratings? Final rating. Uh, I'll give him a zero, bro. He was a zero. I was trying to be nice. He was really a zero. <laughs> he didn't do. He didn't offer anything for the team. And I, I'm disappointed. And bro. I saw people on Twitter being like, he was off the pace. He wasn't combining well. No, he was worse than that, guys. He was worse no, than that. He was worse. You can't just say that. When you... <clears throat> easy passes, bro. Easy passes that he was getting. Right? That's not being off pace. That's just him not focused, out of form, declining. Absolutely older. unfocused. Yeah. Totally not focused. Yeah, yeah. It's just... I don't know, man. Uh, <clears throat> Arteta. Whenever I see games like this, I feel like I realize that Arteta is a very arrogant, arrogant man. Like, the <clears throat> the amount of, like, scuffles and things of that sort that he has with players that are, you know, senior players or establishing themselves as decent players... It just makes me feel like he's a very arrogant man. Like, if you don't follow him with your dying breath or challenge, if you don't, if you challenge him in any way, he's going to ice you out. He's going to not play you. There's no reason why a player, like, like I said, hasn't played in the last three games, the last three Premier League games. It's not like we've had great results in all of those games. 
There's no reason why he should do that. There's no reason why uh, a player like what's the name of the the defense the defender from France who left? I, I'm terrible with names, so I keep forgetting. Um, fucking somebody help me out, please. Uh, what's his name? Sa- the guy who had the fucking the the nude man, the, the the one where he the dude was like touching his penis right next to him. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Saliba. I'm sorry. <laughs> Saliba. I'm sorry. I forgot. Um, <laughs> there's no reason why a player that talented has been shipped out and is now flourishing in another team of like probably honestly equal quality as Arsenal right now in, in the French league. Or even more because they're in yeah, the Champions exactly. League. Yeah, exactly. Actually higher. A higher quality than, mm-hmm. than Arsenal right now. There's no reason. And like glowingly succeeding. Like his... His fucking peers and his coaches are like, no, yeah, this this dude is incredible. And he can't fucking even get a, a shout in this team. There's just no reason why things like that keep mm-hmm. happening. There's no reason. The way that Leno has been handled. I know that he's probably not a good enough... I don't know. It's just it's too weird. It's too bizarre. Our whole team is essentially kids who have no egos, which you mentioned earlier. It's just It leads me to believe that he's a very arrogant man who cannot would stand a player with some sort of ego uh, questioning him. And I don't Mm -hmm. like to hear that. Because honestly, if you're going to build a championship winning team, which we strive to be, or at least top four, which we strive to be, and I don't think Arteta is that. I don't think he's a championship level coach or even a top four Mm -hmm. coach. uh, You're going to have to manage egos. That's just what it is. The best players have egos. Mm -hmm. Yep. What's your rating? Shit. Not good, bro. <laughs> uh, I give him a okay. three. Uh, fuck it. I guess I'll give him a three. Three. Uh, we kept a clean like sheet. That. That's, so. that's, that, that's close to what I was going to give him. Or going to give him, I should say. Uh, so, look. So, really, Arteta is maybe one of those coaches that really is not a motivational coach. He's a very strict, bro. Those type of coaches, bro, will shine in a, in a team that requires that type of, you know, type of play. We saw with Emery that that strictness didn't go well with the players, right? We noticed that. I, th- I think he's very strict. I, I really think that he's trying to, you know, uh, apply whatever Guardiola showed him because Guardiola is a strict coach. Yeah. You know, it's either my way or, you know, the highway. Get the fuck out of here. You know what, but Guardiola, he had, uh, first of all, he had a generational talent in his team when he first started. He had Messi, the best player of all time. I know that, whatever. (laughs) Okay, Um, arguably the best player of all time. There we go. Uh, He had the best midfielders of all time, (laughs) arguably. And and, and so he (laughs) he was able to ship out a player like Ronaldinho. And within his first season, he had massive success. If, Arte- if Guardiola doesn't obtain massive success within his first season, we probably don't get the Guardiola that we have now that everybody respects. Because now at this point, everybody knows him as the player who won uh, a fucking a trinity of championships in his first uh, season and then went on to succeed after that. But uh, Arteta yeah. needs to get there first before he starts requiring all this shit to happen. Before he starts icing out these players and whatever. You need to build up that like that level of like respect from other people, and people just don't respect you in that way right now. So whatever. Yeah, I would have loved Arteta maybe a couple years down the line, you know, maybe ten years down the line after you know a good experience, you know, man- managing other teams, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe then he would have maybe had a little bit more respect in the in the football world. I do think that this is a you know bringing in this the, the kid you know these kids who are below 24 years old playing giving them a chance has brought some respect towards it. I think that's a good strategy if you're a coach with no experience and no background or no not being successful, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, that's why he plays them. So, yeah, that's why he plays them um, and gives them respect. You know, it's like hey, you know the half a is giving me a chance, mm-hmm. right? So uh, I'll give him a three. 
I like I like your rating, Fabian. I don't mind the fact that we're in a rebuild at all. I just wish people would be more honest about it. You know what I mean? Because I feel like some of the fans aren't aware of it. I mean, I, they should be now. But at the beginning of the season, they weren't aware of it. Because what do people keep saying? We're going to spend big this summer. Nobody yeah, said but, that we were going to spend I mean, big this summer in order to, like, build up our team again. That's not what it sounded like. It sounded like we were going to spend big to be challenging in some way. I'm not saying fucking winning the thing, but at least challenge for top six. We're not that team right now. And I don't think we'll be. I, I think we're, like, top ten at best. Yeah. So, that's all. Just be honest. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So, you know, and not to bring in, like, the, the, the Arteta in and Arteta out, but how, how long do you give Arteta the way he's been performing? Um, I think he needs to fix the Aubameyang issue. I think that needs to be fixed. I don't think Aubameyang wants to be here anymore. It doesn't look like, like he wants to be here anymore. Um, I think he needs to fit the, fix the like I said issue. And if he fixes those issues and we start playing marginally better attacking football, which it looks like we're starting to build up to that because at the beginning of the season, it didn't even look like that. It didn't even look like we were getting chances. It just looked like a fucking mess out there because we didn't have players like ESR, Saka, and Odegaard playing all at the same time, which I think is like kind of where our creativity starts flourishing. So... If he fixes that bombing issue sooner rather than later, either has a pep talk with him I mean, or decides to... Bro, I mean, we're past pep talks with Aubameyang, bro. What the... Okay, if he, if, sell, put him on the fucking bench years, then, bro. Man, man. It, it, It's been, what? Uh, so it's been a year, what? A it's year, been a year. A year and a half? Almost Since two years what? now? Since Arteta's coming? Oh, yeah, 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 no, 2019. Yeah, it's been two years. Bro, it's been long enough, man. I don't think that conver- that conversation is way past. But Aubameyang him. was still good with Arteta. Well, he was good because it was that season. Yeah, it was the season. Though, then he came back, and it was just, oh my God, there's a mosquito. Yeah, since like, <laughs> so I think yeah, since the new, since the post-COVID season started, is kind of where it went bad, I think. Um, but ever since, so he's Aubameyang's been struggling for a year, really. He's been off for, for a year. Um, but, I mean, either he benches him or he fucking renews his fire and, and his ability somehow. But if he doesn't fix that, I don't know. I, I, I think that's going to get the rest of the year. Let's just stop fucking around. I just think he's going to get the rest of the year unless we look like we're going to get re- relegated. So... I don't know what else to do. I don't, I don't know if he's fix the issues that I see not really to me but at least we, we have some talented players that hopefully get better I there's there's some signs that I don't like though Paolo like I said the whole like you know icing out of players I don't I don't like that I would prefer somebody who changes their mind and rehabilitates them you know what I mean that's what I want to see I want to see a movie <laughs> <laughs> how was that? How was that? How see was that sports movie? movie? It was good, man. It, it was okay. That movie was okay, but the surprise. Oh Jesus! Was Here nice. we go with the bullshit. It was nice. Okay, whatever. I got so excited. I was screaming like a little girl, bro. Like, ah, my God. Shut the fuck up! Oh my God. Okay. All right. Uh, you haven't seen any spoilers nope. out there? No. Nope. Like everywhere. No, nope, I've not seen it. Not at all. You want me to spoil it? I don't it? give a shit. But don't spoil it to the people watching. That's what the. All right, bro. I'm out of here. This game was a. This game was a mess, but at least we got a clean sheet, I guess. So, I got points on fantasy. That's all I care about right now after this. (laughs) I'm serious. (laughs) At least I get uh, yeah, I get some fantasy points from Tierney and and what's his name? And the goalkeeper Brett from Brighton. Oh, that's right. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. All right, man. Oh, everybody! So we're bringing, uh, we're doing a career mode. Oh yes, we told them earlier. Um, Go ahead. So it's either gonna be Monday or Tuesday. The first, uh, uh, the first career mode. We're gonna be doing five matches, um, a session. So there's probably be about two hours right there recording. My boy got the PS5. I got the PS5. Fucking stood in line for hours. Oh, lucky few. 
the one percenters. But the one percenters. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm above y'all. Yeah, I know, right? right? Stun on these motherfuckers. <laughs> you better stunt on these bitches. But yeah, no, that's coming to you. It's gonna be our uh, Arsenal career mode, um, where we're gonna, where Fabian, where Fabian's gonna be like the owner, per se, and then I'm gonna be the the manager, which because I obviously have the PS5 and I'm, I'll be playing on it. Um, I'm and then Eric's gonna be the fools, scout, bro. scout master. He's gonna be Edu. Hopefully better. Yes. <laughs> I'm about to fire some motherfuckers. This top ten ain't good enough for me, bro. Mm-mm. Top ten. Nope. Um, well, yeah, man. Well, hopefully we'll bring that to you either Monday or Tuesday. Stay tuned. And follow our Twitter so you get an announcement on there. We'll let you guys know. Yeah, yeah that's good. Let me, po- let me post the Twitter on there. But uh, what else? What else we got to say? What else? What else? People are te- uh, texting me saying, how, how do you feel about Arsenal? <laughs> oh, who texted that? Who do you think? Bemba? Yeah. Hey, follow our Twitter right there. It's in the chat. All right? Yeah, man, for sure. Follow us, guys. Boom, boom, boom. All right, All right everybody. Tune in on uh, Monday or Tuesday to see a motherfucker get the boot. <laughs> a motherfucker gonna get set. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Peace out.